Hey, and welcome to the Verge cast for the week of March 26, 2012. I'm Josh Topolsky. I'm Paul Miller. I'm Neil Patel. And we are back for the second time. For the second time today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're here for you in, this, in your time of need to discuss technology and technology culture and the week in news. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about Apple and Foxconn. When really, let's endlessly, just talk about Apple and Foxconn. Endless. I do want to say, uh, we had a little technical issue. Uh, we got a late start. I apologize to those of you who've been waiting. To the people who are listening to the recording of this, uh, it's like nothing ever happened. Nothing happened to you. You're having a great technical you had a perfect, experience. You had a wonderfully uh, uh, succinct technical encounter. Yeah. <laughs> A succinct technical encounter for <laughs> my, the new ROM I flashed on my Android device. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is, uh, you know, uh, not a crazy news week, but today we got some some big news. Mm -hmm. Today, a.k.a. Thursday, for the listener, that'll be Friday or, you know, Friday of next week, depending on when this is ready. Uh, but uh, Foxconn. Mm -hmm. Foxconn in the news again. Doing stuff. In the news again, the FLA, the Fair Labor Association, yep. issued their report on Foxconn factories uh, at the at the request at the behest of Apple mm -hmm. and uh, request and behest interchangeable no no I don't think so what are the what are the what's the difference can you type request versus behest into Google and see what happens. behest is like uh, a guys, command is behest a command this is going to be a really great tumblr I thought behest is when uh, behest is an authoritative command. Authoritative command and request is it's like, like a, please, you're asking. asking. Yeah. So they're not completely more like a request. I mean, they're I, either well, they got one. Paid. Yeah. Well, but either one is correct. But the but point. I the, bet Apple would be like, oh, oh, you guys can't do it. Oh, too bad. <laughs> the long and short of it is, uh, they've issued the report today. And you like, can you tell us? Can you give us a little bit of an yeah. idea of the findings? Um, so there are problems. Basically, that's that's what's going on. They found a man with a hand that had been injured from making <laughs> no. iPads. Uh, they found a 12, say, 11, and 13-year-old girl. I'm joking. It's not Mike Daisy level. It's not. It isn't Mike Daisy level no. in, 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 in but, fractions. But um, average work hours are 56 people working 56 hours a week instead of the maximum. 49. 56 hours at the Verge would be like a vacation it's week. A dream. <laughs> that's like a, that I have. It's like you worked 56 um, hours this week. Where did you go on vacation? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna be really offensive by constantly comparing this to how much we work. <laughs> what else do you have? Uh, people worked eleven or more days in a row. That's like if you worked eleven days in a row and had a twelfth day off. That's like uh, you went on vacation. This one, thirty-three percent of workers said they wanted to work more, but feared that further further restrictions on how much they could work would lead to lower pay. No restriction here. Uh, your pay, <laughs> your, your pay, your pay will be as low no matter how much you work. Uh, minimum wage is too low in China, basically. That's same with us. At, That's, at the it makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're using Chinese numbers for our pay. Yeah, so I mean, basically there's... You know, the, the global there's, So wait, wait. The hours are too long. Hours are too long. Uh, the, fear of reprisal if you work too many hours. Right. And and Chinese uh, wages are too low. Um, Nothing? No, nobody, uh, nobody got smashed in that machine or anything? Well, you know what I mean? It's like end of Terminator situation going on. Well, it's, it, I think, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just looking at the list here. I mean, I think the worst one here is that they post the names of the workers who are facing disciplinary action from Foxconn, which is like very punitive. Very similar to the Verge uh, system. Yeah, that's actually, I do that every day. <laughs> yeah. You have a big um, board, we have a big board that names you, know, you No, do you remember uh, at Engadget, we had an email that went out every night that listed everybody's spelling errors. Oh, that's right. And it was like, those were the days. And, it went, and I remember openly saying, Maybe the shame will reduce the number of <laughs> yeah. No, it was like with this factor's head has gone X amount of days without any accident. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we ever, I, was there ever a day where we went without a no, single? No, we had a few. Yeah, we had a few. And, then I, and then I remember thinking, we can't be this good. And uh, we, we discovered there was a problem was with, like the, a with the auditing mistake. system. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, so, I mean, this stuff is, it's bad. I mean, and Apple committed, the other piece of news that came out, just, Reuters just reported uh, I'll just read the top line. In the landmark development for the way Western companies do business in China, Apple said Thursday agreed to work with Foxconn to substantially improve wages and working conditions at factories that produce its products. Mm -hmm. So this is having it's, impact. It's wildly popular products, yeah, as Reuters I, says. I just love that. You just kind of skip that little. Yeah, why are you harshing? 
I'm just I'm trolling. But, but so all of those all of those um, FLA things were all very like statistical, like very numerically. They, they're they're not, not like holistic kind of or like no, what it's these like to personal work at Fox stories. You're of saying, like, man, I walked into this factory and I just inhaled a mouthful of metal dust. And, and hexane, know? the wave of an hexane hit me. Yeah, you know. Yeah, then you I know, exploded. No, no, but it is <laughs> right. Then my hand is horrible. Were they examining uh, unsafe working conditions? Uh, the association, uh, it's a survey of three Foxconn plants and over 35,000 But you, you understand how these work, right? And, and I'm not saying anything, but these guys go in the factory and monitor stuff. Mm -hmm. And they look at their documents. And then they f issue a well, report. I, you know, whatever's happened, I think we're getting a sanitized version. I'll no, be honest of course, with you. I mean, of course There's a sanitized are. version. And the fact that Apple preemptively sent Tim Cook on some sort of, like, peace mission through China. We've run, like, four stories of Tim Cook, like, shaking a hand. No. Like at a factory. Did you see the picture of him in the yellow suit with the peaked bill? That looks he looks like a duck. No, but that and he's sounds like looking great. Uh, so he's there. I mean, he's in China right now. He's obviously like engaged. He's meeting. There's a lot. I mean, China's a huge market for Apple. So he's clearly meeting with government officials. Um, he's talking about intellectual property issues that they have there. Yeah. And he's definitely hands on with the Foxconn stuff because they had, I mean, obviously they know the stuff. Is I don't know. Of, I, if these conditions are, are okay, I think we should try to bring some of this, fa this factory style work back to, to, America, the verge. to America. To the verge. Yeah. I mean, if the conditions well, are fair, I mean, if the report is right and the conditions are fair, I'd like to try to implement however they run their factories here and see, just see if we get, you know, we can bring some jobs to America. Well, one thing I wonder is, um, you know, if Apple decides. That's broken. <laughs> You'd have to send that back to Foxconn. <laughs> <laughs> if Apple is requesting uh, fair, you know, better wages and better labor practices, uh, that's not just a Foxconn problem. That's also an Apple problem. Like Apple needs to give them more money to do these things. Right. Because if you look at their, uh, they just reported uh, like a record revenue, mm -hmm. yeah, of of thirty six billion dollars, but only a billion dollars in income. I mean. What? They made a profit of a billion dollars, and thirty-six billion. Right, 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 right. A revenue of thirty-six yeah. billion, a profit of one billion. That's like, like Apple is, meanwhile, makes like a thirty percent profit. This is yeah. a very small profit. That's a Foxconn has a relatively small margin, and it's not like Foxconn's going to be able to double everybody's wages and and keep doing what it does. So, uh, App, Apple's going to have to. Do you just do some math? I just saw some we math. We some math. It's a two point eight percent profit margin. Ooh, check you out. Look at you. <laughs> college, college boy. <laughs> hey, did you just get an important email? I don't want to snoop, but I think you might have gotten an important email did that I? you need to address. Do I? Yeah, I, it, I just actually, um, I scheduled an email. It's for an Neli. out of the office email. I scheduled an email for Neil <laughs> to, to tell her that I would not be in the office because <laughs> I'm busy doing the Verge cast. Um, well, at any rate, I mean, you know, we don't really, I mean, there's not going to be, there may be some other report, but this is going to be the report of record mm. for yeah. this situation. Uh, you're not going to hear, there's not going to be some big, until the next, like, you know, group suicide situation. Mm -hmm. We're probably not going to hear a lot about Foxconn conditions. And, and you know, look, if they're, if they're great, I mean, if it's the worst thing they have to worry about is long hours and low pay, <laughs> well. that's good. Well, I mean, I'll take long hours and low pay over, over people, you know, right. getting exploded. Well, that's, yeah. that's what I'm wondering, just because the report said nothing about, like, like, do but they have I, like I, a, I like a letter grade? Like we went to each of these factories, and each of these factories. <laughs> you mean like restaurants in New York? Yeah, no, like restaurants right. in New York. Well, there's like, no, there's no, but there's no like official entity. You know, like one of the things that I think that the FLA is not like a thing. It's just a group of people who said that like they want to investigate labor. Mm -hmm. They're not like a, some kind of government. They're not well, government, or they're not a UN agency. No, but they, I mean they're like a classic like they're NGO just people organization. They're not just people. They're just I mean, humans. They're, they're beyond. Just they're just people. regular guys. I mean, they're, they're an organization that exists, like, in cooperation with industry. I mean, they're, like, a classic. Let's say, that's like saying the Red Cross isn't a thing. Mm. Well, you I mean, know, like, they're an like, NGO. Like, that's how they operate. I mean, yeah. I'm just saying it's not like they're, they could give a grade that would be necessarily, you could say, oh, yeah, I accept this as the final word on it. Because there, there could be another agency that does the same thing that might have a different perception of it. Sure. Better or worse. Yeah, and I, you know, I think, the fact, sure I, I think the fact that this one was paid for by Apple will, will probably inspire other people to go do it. But yeah. they had the access, and they are saying that people are working a lot during peak production times. Workers in three. Oh, there he is. Uh, yeah, he's wearing that. He's wearing cute. that. It's he a good hat. cute. I like that. Um, mm -hmm. Work more than sixty hours per week on average, which is a lot, right? I mean, that's that's an enormous amount. So 
I mean, how many humans could Tim Cook have literally just purchased while he was there? He could have just <laughs> said, I'm going to buy like 40 of these people because I have so much money yeah. and take them back. Yeah. I don't take, think that's, take them back to America. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> well, I'm um, just saying, he has we, a lot of money. I think we specifically <laughs> abolished that. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't checked, <laughs> like the, we were, I haven't checked the law. We used yeah. the word abolished when we I were getting the law rid of that lately. practice. Anyhow, Let's move I, on. No, but I'll say Let's this. talk about some technology news. Well, hold on. We're, I'll just say just my final word on this. Um, you know, the kinds of things, that, the worst kinds of things we've heard about seem to pop up. They seem to be, um, it's not like, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing you would observe every day. Like an explosion at a factory mm. is not the kind of thing that, sure. like, we were there, right. you know, auditing for three weeks, and there were a bunch of explosions. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, I mean, if it, it would be really that bad. That would be a red right? flag. Or, like, a bunch of people suddenly committing suicide for some reason. Mm -hmm. that, I feel like those are the kinds of things that are not going to crop up in a three-week survey or a four-week survey. I don't know how long mm. they were there. I feel like these things make sense. Like, yeah, people are underpaid. They're overworked. They're worried about, you know, they are fearful of their employers, you know, because they do weird things like put their name on a public list for yeah. disciplinary action. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I just don't think it's like th that stuff is the is there. Obviously, those are the exceptions to the rule. If these factories were like total prison world hell holes. Yeah. Like it would be obvious right off. The and bat. it seems like there is definitely in enough of a spotlight on them right now, at least. That that is not possible. Yeah, they're going to be. It's I, like, I feel like there was a time when we just had literally no idea, no insight, what was all. going yeah. on inside of these factories. What, and now well, we I, have a I, little bit more. We have a little bit more, but I mean, at the end of the day, like very cynically, yeah, like Apple took this controversy, and they have spun it into something that is good for Apple, right? How is it's, this good for Apple? Well, they're photo showing, ops of Cook in China. Right, they're showing how responsible we, they're we being. We paid for this survey. We're taking don't unprecedented you, you steps with Foxconn. Is, it is this isn't good for Apple. This is uh, uh, damage, damage control. control. Damage control. Well, this but isn't no, no, a but net Neil, positive. If there was never this controversy, well, to Neil's point, which, which Apple has taken a hit for. To Neil's point, yeah, I agree. It's not a, it's not a, like, Feel good tour. Yeah, it's, it's like, more like it's more like we're trying to show that we're not as bad as you think we are. Yeah, tour. you know which I think they're not as bad as the public perception. Well, it's not Apple. It's not Apple's factory. Right. This is what's so annoying about this whole thing is like it's all we talk about is Apple, and it's like Dell makes stuff there too. Well, and it's, and it's this weird. It's this weird Sony. It's mm -hmm. this weird like two way hostage crisis. Where everybody's being held hostage. Well, well, Apple <laughs> literally cannot. Two kidnappers, two hostages. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mutual kidnapping. Well, a Apple uh, literally cannot make enough of its products without Foxconn. They can't uh, make it, any of their products. It can, it can barely make enough of its products um, at, with Foxconn. But without Foxconn, it would just fall woefully short of, of making forget enough it, of its forget products. Forget about it. Foxconn without Apple as an incredible customer is 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 fifty percent of the revenue by the end of the year. That's a lot. Two hostages. That's kind of a two two. I feel two like, by the way, does this not two. sound like an incredibly like taut French psychological drama? Yeah, yeah it's like two, two people in a room, but they don't know. They both e they each think they're the kidnapper, and they also each think they're the hostage. <laughs> and they're <laughs> that well, they're sense. both <laughs> developing Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. and at the end they get married. Yeah. <laughs> I like this movie. Yeah. I'm liking this. I'm telling you. What's it called? I'm just saying. Oh, oh, I know what it's called. Hostage, hostage. <laughs> no, it's definitely French. Yeah. Hostage, hostage. What's yeah. French for hostage? hostage? It's probably hostage. <laughs> Let's find hostage. out. Can you, Creighton, can you, Creshawn, can you quickly write hostage, hostage? <laughs> that didn't work at all. What? That's a lot of news results. Anyhow. Uh, oh, that is extremely depressing. I need a, I need a beverage. Uh, it doesn't have to be vodka, though I'm sure the viewer would like vodka. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael, I just need some water or seltzer would be great. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Long time. Host hostage my hostage? No, that doesn't work. Hostage hostage no, is more it's, arty. It's just hostage in English as well. Oh, it is? Yeah. So wait, it's, no, 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 no. Go hostage. the other way. Go the other no, way. I think hostage is the French word. It's obvious. Wait. God, we're, we're, we're so You started stupid. with French and you wrote hostage and then you translated <sighs> that to English. I know how to use this. <laughs> Oh, it's otage. Otage. Otage, otage. Otage, otage. Wow. Yeah. Otage, otage. I really wish there was some <laughs> sort of uh, accent on one of those letters, though. Otage. No. You can just add it. It's no. French. You can do whatever you want. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
team effort. Did you start this for me? <laughs> start yeah. this off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are right, Michael. I can't tell if Michael's a really great assistant or he thinks you're a baby. A little, little boat. <laughs> kind of <laughs> kind of a hostage hostage situation. Otage, otage. Otage, otage situation with us. Um, oh, That's, that is cold and refreshing. <laughs> so much colder did you say the studio's fridge is so much better so than much ours? better mm. let me just tell the audience this this vox media studios here in, on midtown manhattan don't yeah don't say the address because we'll, here yeah. at we'll 2406 10 people um is a wonderland it's like a it's i wouldn't go that far not it's a one it, compared I mean, it's, to our there's a bus office. stop in front of it yeah so let's and not it's above crazy. a subway yeah so it's a, a not, subway not, the, not the subway <laughs> A subway shop. It does, in fact, smell like subway here. <laughs> it all does. The time. It smells like. But they've done a wonderful it, job. It smells like meat that's been left out, but chilled for a long time. Yeah, but it's it's very. There's there's a shuffleboard. It's gross. Did we have a sponsor this week? We didn't, do did we? It's subway. <laughs> it's subway. <laughs> subway. <laughs> Eat fresh. <laughs> uh, all right, let's move on. Let's move on to our next topic. Uh, let's talk about the Lumi 900. I think it's it's actually Wait, really really. Interesting. Yeah, I think what I mean they about priced these, it this these, week. These statements. Yeah, the these statements. outrageous statements. Well, so they announced uh, AT and T. It'll be ninety nine dollars on AT and T, uh, which is ninety nine clams, ninety nine big one, intense price. And AT and T has said it will be uh, quote We're going big. It's going to be the biggest launch ever, uh, presumably including the original iPhone and every subsequent. Well, they, they, they were actually saying it's Haven't going they to be. Have they said this before? Are they saying it's going to be numerically? I don't speaking? know. I mean, I don't. I know. I think. What that's do you mean more biggest a, launch ever? What does that mean? That's what they said. I don't know. Um, but what does that mean? If they're, they're outfitting their employees with the phones. I mean, I, I think what they're saying is they're going to put an amount of marketing emphasis on this phone. I want to. Can I go to the? Can I go to that. the phones? I want to hear what a caller thinks about yeah. what biggest launch ever means. This is a notch above anything we've ever done. It's a notch above anything we've ever done. Call in right now eight 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 four one eight four zero seven four. I want to know what you think. What did AT and T do? What? What do you mean? It's a notch above anything we've ever done. iPhone yeah. launch. But they didn't really have anything to do with that. That's what I was saying. What did they do? I don't know. Yeah. What, I want to know from the community. What do you think that means? Call in now. 888-418-4074. <laughs> Anyhow, I don't get it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> my impression is, you know, what is exciting to an average consumer about this if they're going to run out? To I mean, a $99 LTE device is exciting. That is exciting. It, it is. You know, it's a high and, and the hardware is the hardware is beautiful. Yeah. But, but the problem is, and I've been complaining about this from the get go. There's no real revolution. Like this is not a huge leap forward. This is a very nice. Do we have a caller? Evolutionary step. We have someone on the line for Windows Phone. Okay, uh, caller, you're on. What What do you think AT and T means by biggest launch ever in in reference to the uh, Lumia 900? And, and what's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Noor, and I think AT&T probably means that they secured a lot of partnerships with uh, stores and shops. Secured, sorry, you broke up. Secured a lot of what? A lot of uh, partnerships. Oh, partner, sure. partnership. But, I mean, are you on AT&T right now? Nora? Are you on an AT&T device because you're breaking up I know. I know what this sounds like. No, but, but I mean, they, they, they're, they're just selling through AT&T stores. Are you saying like through like Best Buy or? But they, I mean, they always do that. Right. But, I mean, what do you think they're going to do to make this special? That's the thing. I mean, they launch every phone. Are they going to have a parade? <laughs> Is it going to be? Lumia parade. <laughs> Lumia parade. <laughs> and, okay, but here's a better question. Are you, are you still on the line with the caller? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. What do you think it'll be successful? If it's a big launch, if they, they have a lot of stores that are going to be selling it, partners, can this thing penetrate in the U.S. market? Um, probably. It depends on how they get the marketing done. Are you using a Windows Phone device right now? No, I'm using a uh, temporary 2002 Samsung thing. Wow. What? The Samsung thing. The Samsung thing. <laughs> a great phone. Are you gonna? Are you gonna get? A, are you gonna get a Lumia? I'm waiting for the One S. The One S. You're gonna get an Android phone. Oh, you got really quiet. Thank you got you. very quiet. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you for calling in. Thanks for the answer. We're going to take uh, one more here. What do you think AT&T means you know, I will by... say this. Yeah. Nokia actually has officially titled their North American strategy Operation Rolling Thunder. Operation Rolling Thunder. So uh, they're call planned in. to reignite the North Call, you're on the line. What's your name, and, and what do you think AT&T means by... Uh, they're going to, whatever, crank this one up a notch or take it up a notch. How, how's this, <laughs> this going to be different? Uh, yeah, hi, my name's Kevin, and uh, 
I don't really see how AT and T can take Windows Phone up a notch. Uh, in my experience with Windows Phone, you got about two months of enjoyment, and then you're looking for another device. So wow. it's going to be very disappointing. So, so I'm assuming you're a uh, uh, maybe, maybe AT and T could do two and a half months. <laughs> Wait. So you are you are you a Windows Phone owner, a former Windows Phone owner? A former Windows Phone owner. Yes. What, ha what happened? Yeah. What phone did you have, and what get, tell, tell us a little bit about your experience. Well, I had the original Samsung Focus, and the problem with Windows Phone is just that there, it's boring. It's it's literally it's smooth and it works, but there's you know you're limited to their ecosystem, which is yeah, we're done. Is that it? Yeah. Which is don't leave us hanging. He's so he doesn't even want to talk about like, it. He's like Kevin I can't even think of the right words to describe how that. <laughs> I don't, I don't do we, want to talk do about we lose our caller? He's gone now. Yeah, Kevin. Another yeah, we've another. We've come so customer. far with our technology. Nah, if, he was, yeah. if he had a Samsung phone, well, I think we can. Kevin. It was on AT and T. What were you guys? Someone who was saying you can Skype for free to an eight 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 number. Maybe is that true? Sure, why not? Billy looks confident. Do we? Do we? That call Billy is gone. So. Kevin, you're not here. I are would you? just encourage you, were you to call the Vergecast, which I would love you to do. Yeah. To use some stable form. Of I mean, no, I'm, I'm definitely saying such as Skype. Or your parents' landline. Yeah, feel free to use Skype to call because, it. Because you know who has landlines? Old, old people. Old people. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm I'm saying, I mean, if you and had you a you know focus, who has stable connections to old, phone calls? Old people. Old people oh, with yeah. landlines. Uh, all love, right, let's, old let's, people love talking to each other I mean, for just, hours just, at a time. Just so, no drops. Just so we're clear, I mean, I don't see what AT&T can do beyond. I mean, look, I have no doubt that this is fine, fine hardware. The software, as far as I, as far as I know, this is... Standard Same. Windows Phone 7.5 yep. software with some AT&T stuff, cool. like uh, YP Mobile yeah, and AT&T Radio, which I jam on all the time, <laughs> and the AT&T like, video market. Yeah, no, that's the best. U-verse. Why, why, <laughs> would, why would AT&T do – I mean, I understand that AT&T by, like, putting – bunch of reps in its stores to try to get people to buy these could probably push more of these units but why is now the time well so here's right here's right oh this is the go ahead i mean here i mean i think at&t really dislikes android mm -hmm. I, I don't think they've ever had like a a great android phone that's been successful for them i don't think they've ever really they really haven't they haven't and they've never done anything great with android I mean, you know, they should have the. They've HP. done a lot of horrible things. They've too, done a Android. lot of terrible. Well, things they're getting the. Android. They're getting the One X. I mean, you know, they were the first. They're doing that phone. Are they getting the One S too? I don't know yet, but they're getting the One X. Yeah, but, but they, but they had. But this, they need a Halo LTE device, which they don't have. But, but, so but what they, else are you going to do? A one that plays AT and T Halo. was a huge. <laughs> yeah, boom. AT and T was a huge launch partner for Windows Phone initially. It, initially, right? And because I think, they hated Android back then. And you know, and they, what did they? And they were super into locking down Android to begin with, and I think they've always. I think AT&T has always had this fear of Apple and their deal with Apple and the iPhone. Mm -hmm. and I think they, they've always known that they need to do something else to make right. that okay. And I think they just inherently don't like Android for whatever reason. Well, they're running out of options. Right. There's only one <laughs> I mean, option left. I mean, and I think they're motivated to make Windows Phone a success. And I, you know, I think they could do I it. Just, um, I, I just think that... Uh, I think this is bad timing to be motivated because I do think people can buy a Windows Phone phone and then realize they can't quite do all the things that they see their buddies with smartphones doing with other smartphones. Uh, take it back, and you know you've burnt. Uh, we were talking about this recently that there's probably a lot of people who've had early Android experiences got burned by them, and which is why you were seeing maybe I don't know a, a, an Android momentum shift or or slow. Yeah. Um, because Android is vastly better now, and I think Windows Phone is going to get vastly better. But I think this is bad timing to get really behind. Well, they, don't, they don't have Windows a lot. Of, they don't have a lot of time to. They can't really burn that many cycles. Well, I mean, I just feel like it's going to be. It's always going to be hard for AT and T to get away from the iPhone. I mean, if people walk into your store to buy the iPhone, mm -hmm. and you're like, "No, try this other thing," and it's the Lumia right. 900, that's great. Maybe that's maybe that's a good idea and, and what the market needs, but. I don't know that the the Windows Phone and the Lumia 900, I, just based on what the Lumia 800 is, I'm sure it's just a bigger 800, right? Well, so it has LTE. It has I, LTE and a bigger screen. Screen resolution is the same, though. Right. Um, 
But I mean, the 800 is a beautiful device, and I can see people and being interested. It has interested. that 41 megapixel camera on the back, right? <laughs> yeah, the right. Giant... That's this Nokia phone. Oh my God. Um, but but uh, here's what I want to know: um, What are the colors that it comes in? Mm. Cyan. It's black, white, cyan. No. White. Yeah. Is there a pink one? No, I don't think They're so. They're not doing the hot pink one. I haven't seen it. Cray Sean, <laughs> are you on the case? Are you looking into it? We're about to find out if they're doing the hot pink one. Yeah, they're, they're people. Fuchsia. The people I, are telling I us. will say this. Cyan people are saying yes? No. You guys are still on AT&T, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, what is that? Uh, I, I have a number of devices. Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> you could just say you have a number of devices. I'm going to be honest with on you. On multiple carriers? Uh, yeah. I'm going to be that's honest with you. Uh, I have my phone number that everybody has, and then right. I've got my real phone number. Okay? And that number... Is nine one seven. Go ahead. Someone's war dialing every number. Right, every nine one seven in so, America. I, has AT T gotten better for you guys? No. Uh, it's uh, really, actually, really bad for me. Well, I, I'm especially noticing because of iMessage. iMessage um, is a you great. You both using iPhones. My, my, I, I my message is, is a great way to test, like, if you're actually on the Internet or not. Yeah. You know, you can have bars and 3G anytime, anywhere. Yeah. But iMessage is a test. Can I send a small amount of data to the Internet and get something back? Mm -hmm. And it fails so often. And uh, I'm trying to, like, load things, and I load a little bit of a page, and it craps out. I was actually, I had, like, a double AT&T fail the other day. I was in line at Starbucks trying to load up a SoundCloud song, it d breaks. So I get on the Starbucks Wi-Fi, it breaks. I go back to 3G, it works a little bit. I hear a bit yeah. of the song, it breaks. And it's so frustrating. And, why don't you get and a, the whole time I have bars, I have 3G. Why don't you get three, a Droid Razor Max? <laughs> You're right. That's the way to go. I'm well, sorry. And so I, am, I, am I just a, a chump for not having an LTE device? I don't even deserve it yes. data anymore. Yes. You're a chump. <laughs> You're a stupid chump. I'm a stupid chump. <laughs> I, you know, I was worried that I was a stupid chump, well, but now that it's been confirmed. Like verified. Confirmed. All right, let's talk about two more Microsoft things. Okay. Because there's another piece of Windows Phone you say so. controversy. Actually, two other pieces of Windows Phone Your show. Uh, there was a lot of talk about Smoke by Windows Phone this week. Oh, yeah. Which Smoke I think, by Windows Phone which, controversy. Which I think is really kind of hilarious. It, by the way, <laughs> anybody who has a Windows Phone, I hope you're, I hope you're offering to smoke people on a regular <laughs> <laughs> I know if I had a Windows Phone right now, I would be on a regular basis asking if people want to get smoked. Hey, want to come over to my house so I can smoke you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Who wants to get, <laughs> hey, who wants to get smoked by my Windows Phone? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Let's talk about this controversy. So Microsoft's been running this promotion since CES. Yep. Uh, they have a list of tasks that you can do. Uh, and you come in, you race somebody from they Microsoft. Start, they started this promotion, I just want to say, at CES. Yes. And uh, the gist is what Neil is describing. They yeah, basically have a put a photo on Twitter, put a, put a photo on Facebook. It's like stuff you might do with your phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Find out uh, what time it is in a different city. And because mm -hmm. all of the stuff is integrated with live tiles, or the services are integrated with the yeah. apps, you can obviously do them faster on the Windows phone. Right. Well, the problem is also because the, the people who are doing it are, have been practicing and have their phone set up specifically to do. It's like if I. It's like the thing, and we'll get to the controversy, but it is like. If I set up something very specific on my Android device that Android excels at, like swipe away a notification, yeah. Mm -hmm. Guess what we lose? <laughs> Every other device. Right. As the, you can. The one, the one choose an animated and background. Again. Yeah, choose a live background. Yeah. <laughs> that, <All right>. that's, <laughs> so we should. Oh, why is it Google? Oh, just where you out on that? Why do you, <laughs> Google should seriously run like smoke by smoke by Galaxy Nexus? Yeah. And and stuff install like that. the actual Chrome browser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, run, be good. run Chrome the and Firefox. Always, the one that always comes up in our comments is like, go get a game from the App Store. It's always like software. Oh, bro. Which is like, that's a pretty harsh brand. What do you mean, for Android? No, for the iPhone. Like, that, the one that I would see our commenters you saying. go get a game. Like, p they pick a game. Like, go get Sky Gamblers. Like, play Sky Gamblers. And, like, Windows Phone can't do it because there's no apps for the platform. Mm. Well, they have Xbox Live games. Mm. But they don't have, like, that game. Mm. You're not seeing what I'm saying. You mean they don't have Temple Run? Yeah. It's stuff like that. But I'm just saying what I've seen in our comments along mm. these lines. You're biased. Super biased. You're biased. I'm, I'm reading our comments. You're online. a biased hater. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Go ahead. So, anyhow, they have these challenges. You now come I'm in sad, with your phone. Man. You just called me a name. Biased hater. <laughs> biased <laughs> hater. It's stupid chump. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? I yeah, Paul just let it roll, dude. He didn't care. 
Pompous uh, jerk. Yeah. That's a good one. Pompous D bag. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so people, the, as with any game, especially games that you target it at nerds, the nerds have figured out how to win. The nerds, the uh, nerds have got well, the edge. Let's be so, clear. The game involves a prize of winning like a Windows phone and a Hunger Games laptop. A Hunger Games laptop. What is, that, what is a Hunger Games laptop? And it kills you. Does it have graphics? Yeah, Special it, graphics? It just murders you. Is it like it has a... a, a a picture of Katniss and Peta on the on the lid. <laughs> I think that, that that part is actually true. Does it have an image of Cato? I know all the characters from the Hunger Games because I read the first book. Wait, mm. Cato? It's one of the characters with a C. Then he dies. I can't tell you. They, they all die. I mean, pretty much everybody dies. <laughs> yeah. Like it's you a lot know, of death. just so you know, like one of the major plot points is that people it's have to fight to the death. Ch child, yeah. child on Ch child, <laughs> child on child, kill it. <laughs> Anyhow, anyway, go on. so people have started to figure out how to win. Yep. Um, and the, you know, it's exactly what you're describing. They, they offer they themselves have Android as tribute phones at the window store, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they come prepared. And, and if, come prepared. if your sponsors come through for if, you, yeah, if your sponsors they're come through, really you good can, at archery. You can avoid getting smoked by window. <laughs> uh, and so, anyway, so somebody won, and they didn't give him the prize, right? Uh, and it, just, it spiraled into a well, controversy. The guy, the guy who won actually has a blog called Scatter Tech. Yeah. And uh, what is his name? Sahas? Is that what it is? Yes. I'm just inventing that pronunciation. And if, if you believe his story, he, he got screwed. I believe his story. I, I met, totally I met him story. at Google. I met that guy at Google I.O. a couple of years ago, and he was a super nice, mm. totally down to earth, very excited about technology, seemed very genuine. And he, I know he's been working on that site, like writing for a while. Right. You know, and I doubt it's making him rich to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it is. If it is, I'd like to hear your secret. Please contact me. Uh, but uh, I, you know, I don't think he has any reason to be disingenuous about right, it. Right. And, and his task, a guy who really admittedly, likes his task was very simple. It was show the weather in two cities, right. and he had two weather widgets on his phone. <laughs> yeah. So like he won, like the end. Like, like there it is. Like there's no it, boom. Th that's not cheating. Like, show the weather in two cities. Yeah. Are you, are you, just, they, are you just imagining I, I, yourself? I'm just trying to figure out how they even I'm just show me the weather in my city. Like, I have to, like, go inside. You know, I, 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 know, but I, I did what, Siri today. Can I just say this? On yeah. the way here, I wanted to know if I should wear a coat. What I, and I said weather to Siri. And she replied with, the weather for New York City is not available. What I think is... What <laughs> like, I, what I think the, is uh, Windows phone is smoking she, me left she and right. Hold on. You the face. Hold on. What I, think is, what I think is weird is that what they're asking is, let me understand how this would work. Yeah. You turn your phone off. Mm -hmm. Right, every turn every phone off. Screen. And they pick the challenge for you. Right. So they have a manual that they give to the Microsoft store people. And they and racially they, profile and you. They, right. they, no, okay. they racially profile your no, phone. But, but so, so wait, so then you and turn... So the, uh, but the so manual they, says they know, things like... Right, but they, but they know they already have two weather widgets on their home screen, right? The right. person does. Yeah, this is like, show me an email that my mother sent me. Like, you know that you have it. Mm -hmm. It's already there. It's There's, very specific. It's extremely specific. It's not like no, 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 no. I, it's I, not like perform a function. No, you don't. I, no, 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 Microsoft is like, the challenge, not you. No, right. I understand that. Some of them are. So a I'm little saying guy it's like wanted. if I challenge somebody to like show a, an, e an email from my mother on your phone. Some of them like, are more. There's no possible way that like it's such a specific thing. Well, but some of them are more functional. Like take a photo and then upload it to Facebook and tag that's it. that's the kind of task I would expect. Right. Like this weather one is pretty stupid. Bring up a web page. The weather one is like such a fix already because. They already have designed, like they've already they've already have, set up their phone. You have to pin those things, so you it's like making a challenge based on right. something you've like done already. Mm -hmm. I only think I'm it's, saying it's an unfair I, to begin with. But right. so this is like that we sent Sean not, Hollister to a, a Microsoft a fix, store because like, like unless you so, happen to have two weather widgets. So we sent yeah, Sean anyhow. to the Microsoft store. He was there for over an hour. There was it took him an hour. He stood in line. They were, like, handing out waters to people who wanted to get smoked by Windows Phone. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they, with all that heat, they're going to need it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, after an hour, he got <laughs> to play. Uh, and he lost. Yeah. I mean, of course he lost. And, he, you know, his whole take on Sean, this, Sean got smoked. This is a... He had to take a picture. Windows Phone smoked my Android. He was standing in front of a background. I mean, I'm sorry. He has yet to show us this picture. Oh, I want to see this picture. I want to see it real bad. But he likens it to a carnival game, and it's yeah. just it's a, an appropriate. What was his challenge? Comparison. It was to up, take a picture and upload it to Facebook. I think that was his. I don't remember. Let's see if I can find out. I don't load up this page. But yeah, it was something like that. Well, and, then, it, and, and then, it's then, funny because you know Microsoft says they have a training manual, and it's like, don't do this challenge against anyone with the HTC status because it has a Facebook button. And it's like if you're that level of granularity, well, that's, ga that's gaming. How can you yeah. not? How can you? I mean. It should be a random selection. 
Mm-hmm. You should have a wheel or something, random selection. And it shouldn't be stuff where, like, you have to have something pre-planned. It should be an action. Like, take a picture and upload it to Facebook is a really good one. Because that actually shows how well integrated Facebook is, how quickly it can take a picture, mm-hmm. how fast an upload goes. Like, that makes sense. But something like yeah, show, he had to upload to Facebook. show two weather widgets on your home screen is like, did you come in here with two? I mean, if you didn't happen. But this, so this, anyhow, this dude did have two weather widgets on his phone. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he, he turned he on won. his phone. He didn't have a lock on it. Yep. So he just clicked it on. Mm-hmm. And the widgets were there. And the widgets were there. And he won. And they, they didn't let him win. And they were like, no, you didn't win because. Yeah. And then he fought with them and they were like. Nope. He had, they were like, nope. And then they gave him some excuse like it had to be two weather from two different, different states. states. <laughs> Which is like, how stupid are you? Like manager at the Microsoft store that right. you would even invent such an asinine. Like, why not just give him the laptop? <laughs> yeah, like I think cares? this might have been uh, like a bad employee situation and not like a bad. Well, I don't even know how you get there. Like you just have to straight up lie. Well, so the people told Sean that they've had five winners over so far. Well, but I'm just saying, like, how do you get to the place where you where someone clearly wins something? It's like if you were running a race with somebody and they beat you, and they were like, "I'm the winner of this race," and you're like, "No, you're not." <laughs> and you're like, "Yeah, I am. I crossed the finish line before you." Oh did. yeah. So anyway, so they made good. They gave him. Um, they sent him all of these phones. They sent him wow. a lot of phones. No, they um, they gave him a phone and a laptop. You know, their first response is very tone deaf. They're like, "Come in for a rematch," and it's like that's not the point. No, Ben, the no. PC guy, yeah, who's like a dude who's like their, one of their evangelists, yeah, who's like the smoke by windows phone guy, was like, "Come in for a rematch." It's like I don't think you understand how this works. Yeah, if you win, you then guys, you're the winner. You guys like jerked this guy. Oh, you know, jerked him around. Yeah, and. He complained about it, and now everybody thinks you suck. And it's not magnanimous to say, like, we'll challenge you again. <laughs> yeah. He already beat you. That's yeah. the problem. No, that's you like guys, slapping the guy yeah, at the you guys one like, more time. Are, your problem is you're not, like, internalizing the loss <laughs> yeah. of this challenge. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so Anyhow, it, I just think, like. So he's giving him, they're, they're, he's going to give him, and he's going to give stuff. it to charity. He's giving it to charity. You know why? He doesn't want to win. He doesn't stuff. want to. He's like, he does I, want that Hunger Games laptop, though. He's not giving that. I to want charity. the Hunger Games laptop. Do we have an image of the Hunger Games we laptop? Do not. So they wouldn't allow Sean to take pictures at the store, which I think is amazing. What? Behind the shroud yeah. of. They went, Sean went there. He stood when, in line. When are we going to get a, a Microsoft store in New York? I don't know. So that we can have all these fun things happen to us. I mean, Dude, I, you want to get smoked I, by Windows. You I want to get smoked you know so hard. You know what? Dude, I'm like so many steps away from from um, weather in two a, cities. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, on that thing. There's weather. Oh, there's my local weather still loading. There's my local weather. Now I swiped. Oh, no, I didn't have it set up. I'm never. I'm never going to figure out what the weather is in two cities. I think as a precaution. <laughs> smoked. I think from this, I think from this point on, as a precaution for everybody out there, you should just get two weather. Get something with mm-hmm. dual weather set you up never on your device. Be prepped. You never you know. You don't know. Enough. You don't know what you're going to be happening by. You're just walking down the street, and somebody's like, "Do you want to get smoked by Windows Phone?" You're like, "Wait a second. and then you get that challenge. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be left. You know, high and dry. Yeah, yeah. It's like random encounters in an RPG so when you can't do, even see the Do we want to take mob. a smoke by Windows Phone related call? Let's take a smoke by. How about this? Let's just take a call. Call. Just has, call us. I would like to hear from anybody who has participated in Smoke by Windows Phone, mm-hmm. either as a a Microsoft employee. We'll keep you anonymous if you want to talk about your. Yeah, experience. call us and tell us if your you, Microsoft employee. If you work in a Microsoft store and have or have ever engaged in a Smoke by Windows Phone challenge on the Microsoft side, we would love to hear from you. If you have gone to a Windows store and participated in the smoked or been at CES and participated in the Smoke by Windows Phone Challenge as an iPhone, Android, BlackBerry, yeah. or WebOS user. Man, if you're showing up there with a BlackBerry. Symbian user, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, but either way, I want somebody who's actually been in the, the heat, mix, yeah. in the heat of the Smoke by Windows Phone experience. I think they should they should challenge us to whatever they were challenged to do, and then we should race. I don't have my phone. I have my phone. Oh, you know. <laughs> We have a Microsoft yeah, a employee huge. who wants to remain anonymous. I don't, I don't know. This All could right. be a lie, but let's bring them. Let's put them through. An anonymous Microsoft employee who I hope will be using some kind of Darth Vader type device to disguise their voice. Do a fake British accent. You're on the air uh, uh, on the Verge cast, and you are totally anonymous. Hello, guys. Hello. Can you hear us? <laughs> yes, I can. Are Is you that doing, a fake accent? Are you in a fake British <laughs> accent? Uh, I'm trying to. It's not bad. <laughs> it's all right. It's pretty good. All right. So tell us about your experience as a mic. You, you don't have to keep doing a fake British accent. Uh, and if you're... Oh, look, I mean, 
All I want to say in all honesty is that you have to take this for what it's worth. It's a marketing, it's a marketing play. Um, you know that Android could have done the same, the same thing with that, with their with their phones, and they, they decide not to. And uh, and whether the people that are lined up, they win or lose, they're gonna they're gonna get something out of it. Um, so no, they're gonna get smoked. smoked is yeah. what they're gonna get out of it. What do the people who lose get out of it? Just they're either gonna get a phone or they're gonna get um, shame. A, a lot. Or a laptop. I mean, but if they only if they, if they win. only if they win, not necessarily. No, we've given phones to people that have lost. Actually, uh, we replace their phones with some some uh, Lumia, some uh, phones. Uh, so it's not necessarily true. Really, what in what in what what scenario would you replace somebody's phone? I mean, if, if, if they lose, it's just like they're really sad. <laughs> if you start crying. I saw some of the uh, CES videos that actually they're showing it there, where the people actually lose. Uh, and we and then the PC guys they should basically give them phones. So, um, but but that was at CES, but not at the store. You don't yeah. do that at the stores, do you? I haven't no. So I haven't seen it at the store because they haven't made it public. Right. But I know that. Her, so I've heard that people sometimes walk out with a phone, um, even though they've lost. Are you now? Are you, you're a, 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 a Microsoft employee, a Windows Store employee? Are you? Do you use? A, I, I don't, I don't work for the store. I'm a Microsoft employee. Do you use a, a Windows phone as your daily driver? Of course I do. You do. And so you're, you're a diehard. You're, you're, you're committed to the cause. And I, have you ever I, used, I mean, I, have you used an iPhone or an Android device? Do you, do you, you know, do you truly I, believe I, I, used to, I used to be an iPhone user, yes. I, I, I believe it's a wonderful product. Um, but I do believe that Microsoft has its own. They design Windows Phone around use cases, and that's what they're trying to prove. And, and when you take a picture and you upload the picture to Facebook, basically what we're showing is that it, we're, we didn't design the phone around features, but we designed how people use the phone. And so we picked out the most important use cases of a phone, so that it, and we made it easier for people to use do, do the you, phone. Do you, are, are you a Twitter user? I am. What what Twitter client do you use? I use our Rowey. Use Rowey. Use my Twitter client, Rowey and, and Carbon Windows Phone. Okay, so what's the deal with the scrolling in those apps? I, I want to know because I'm <laughs> I'm 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 been checking out some Windows Phone stuff lately. I'm trying to you know get back into it, and I want to know why there's a horrible scrolling bug in all of those apps. Like if you scroll quickly, it like stuff disappears, or it's really stuttery scrolling. Do you know what I'm talking about? I, I wouldn't be able to. I mean, I've seen I've I've seen it in some, and I know that if you if you download the latest version of Rowy, which is a version 2.0 that is coming in the coming days, I mean, it's buttery smooth, so it, it's okay. going to depend based on the app. Do you have a bit? You have a beta of it? <laughs> can uh, you send it I, to Josh? I, yeah, you got to hook me. You got to hook I, me up with the beta. I can, I can hook you guys up with it, or it's coming in the next couple of nice. days. Nice. Now, I, like I, I just I just you, so, but you feel like that that Windows Phone is capable of going toe to toe. With these other devices on a, like an app to app basis, I mean that's that's the place where I I think the core the core uh, functionality of the OS is very solid, but I feel like it starts to get break down like multitasking and third party apps. You think it's gonna it's oh, yeah. gonna get up to par? Well, multitasking I think it's better than the iPhone to be honest. I think you that's do? the way we have. Yes, absolutely. When you hit the back button, you can see a preview of the app. It's even better. Right. Uh, but it's true but it, that take, but it takes it's longer. But it takes longer for those apps to come back. No, no. If there was a design for seven point five, they, well, unfortunately, not all apps have been not all apps have been updated for uh, for seven point five. For I think we need to do a, we need to do a smoked challenge on on the <laughs> multitasking here. Yeah. Uh, we should we should we should move on. I I, I appreciate you calling in. I, I really do. And. It's interesting to hear the other side of this. I agree with you that it's, it's, it's a promotional thing. Um, but I think, and it obviously is going to be geared. It's, all, it's like a carnival game, right? It's always geared towards the house, mm, yeah. you know? But, uh, but, uh, do you, but, do you, but did you, uh, just final question here, when you read this story, did that seem, when you heard the story, did it seem like something that happens all the time? Or was that an no, anomaly? I mean, you have to understand this was this was not Microsoft denying that he won. I mean, basically, this is a, a, I mean, a store employee that didn't handle it properly, and immediately Microsoft and then the PC guy reached out to them and they said, "Look, uh, it, that this wasn't right." Uh, was so the we, was the employee fired? 
Uh, no, I can't comment on that. Did you personally have a hand in yeah. firing that employee? No. <laughs> It sounds like a yes to me. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for calling in. You know, we there's, really, a, there's a Vergecast bingo. We really appreciate it. and uh, I appreciate it, too. And feel free to call back anytime, Paul, anytime you want to yell I at us about Microsoft. I, I appreciate Sorry. it. We're looking so, at a Windows Phone somebody, bingo app. Somebody right. just sent me the Vergecast bingo app for Windows Phone. So app to app, I think so. And I will say that one of the tiles is definitely Vergecast gets mildly racist. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> yeah. Mildly? More like more like totally. By the way, I just want to say, uh, <laughs> like, it is, is burning there? burning hot in here. Are we going to so, boot up the fans? Oh, you yeah. open that door. Tom, Tom Warren is on chat and said that he will send you the Rowey Beta, Josh. Ooh. Oh, send me there. Tom Warren is going to have Everybody's we, got Tom the Rowey Beta all of a sudden. It's fine. Oh, he is Tom, getting married Tom this is weekend. getting married. Leave him alone. Um, <laughs> He's he's listening. I guess he's not that busy. He's probably packing or something. He's picking out flower arrangements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, Tom Warren is is picking out flower arrangements. We we wanted to have him on the show. I've wanted to have him on the show for. for now weeks, he's just sitting around months. listening to us. Yeah. This would have been a perfect opportunity because I'm smoked by windows. He could have smoked us. Can we Skype him in? Will he Skype in? Yeah, please Skype. Can we Skype, Skype him in? We set up for that. All right. Skype is a, a Microsoft product now. All right. <laughs> So let, I will let's, say let's that the audio on. quality on all of our call-ins so far is just such an indictment against true phone quality. Phone, phone tech is not and my advanced. my great feature on, on IP calling. So let's talk about a pair of apps. I know I, I know that we, we've already in-depth on IP calling before Go ahead. on the show. So pair of apps. Let's talk about so a pair of apps that came out this week. Here we go. I think are very, very interesting. Here we go. Ooh, pair of ooh, apps. Ooh, ooh. Uh, What's happening? Um, He's going to show me the app. app. So oh. one early this week, Tapose. Uh, which was, a, I think, there's a, there's poorly a, named. I, well, hold on. Let's set the stage. This week, there were, two, there were two courier-related. I don't know if you remember yeah. the courier. We're talking about Microsoft here. Courier was their ill-fated tablet project that there was a bunch of leaked material from. It was an amazing-looking pen-based tablet OS and tablet product, two-screen tablet product that never came to be. And it was like a living journal. It was like a living journal. It was very, very cool, very much geared towards creativity. And we saw... Um, you know, like use case studies yeah. or user studies. A whatever lot of they were, stuff. I they were. If and you then, were, were then... going to design a pair of Nike shoes, you definitely wanted to use. Yeah, it was just like it's like the, the it's like software. the scrapbook, the journal of the future. Did it was see, very cool. But a lot of the examples involved designing design Nike shoes. It was like a Nike shoe designer owned it. Okay. Uh, anyhow, but but so so. There two, anyway, but the fallout from the project was people left Microsoft. People left Microsoft. Robbie Bach and Jay Allen. Well, we don't know if they were specifically uh, because of the courier, but. People heads heads rolled. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they rolled or if they were just rolled they out. They were just giving swiveled. a lot of money to watch. Heads, heads rolled out. So Jay Allard, who is the Jay guy Allard, the behind the Xbox. Jay Allard, Robbie Bach, and apparently a bunch of other people who who you know we didn't know until very yeah. recently. But this week there were two iPad apps released that were in had in some in some way their lineage was to the courier was had lineage to the courier right. And mm -hmm. the first one was Tapose, which Jay Allard actually invested in through Jay Kickstarter. Allard. Yeah. Uh, and so that was the first one. And then just today, paper and, and for And hold on. We looked at Tapose. We yeah. ran an article on it early in the week. We did a hands-on. We did a whole It's, whole it's apparently a bit buggy. Yeah. Um, and uh, Creighton is shaking his head. Now, Creighton, I'm going to tell I'm going to tell this Creshawn story in a second. But, uh, well, I'll just tell it. The other app is called Paper. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and we actually did got a really in-depth look at paper and yeah those guys it. are like in new york they're here in their new york and by. and uh, it's a small team uh it's a startup they they invested their own money to start it um, but they're, they're people who worked on the courier some of them are people who worked on the courier uh and other projects the kin stuff like that at microsoft though i, I don't know how much how involved they were in the kin they probably don't want to talk about that <laughs> i'm sure <laughs> everybody was oh it just barely right, well so they, paul you've got anyhow, but, but well really quickly yeah, i want to say paper, both of these there. are like both of these are drawing apps essentially they're kind of creative yeah. Well, Tapose does handwriting recognition as well. Right. But so Creighton uses a HTC flyer, or he did. This is true. He used an HTC flyer. He actually uses the flyer with a stylus to storyboard and to, you know, work on ideas for the show and do other stuff video related here. Uh, and of course, I was shocked when I first saw it. It was just shocking. You know, you don't, you're not ready for that when you see a grown man. I will say, with the flyer. when we were denied entrance into H at HTC's party in Barcelona, and Creighton was like, but I have an HTC flyer. There were just blank, dead stares. <laughs> Is that right? No, no, HTC did not care. 
They, they were like, what's that? Do we make that? <laughs> yeah. uh, anyhow, like, but yeah, so, so he's been using the flyer to, to work, to really work. And I showed these guys paper before it was before the embargo, before the. the, the well, they're, you're shooting an interview. They but I there. showed him before that. Yeah. And he literally immediately went out and bought an iPad. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Did you buy a pen, too? Yeah, I think the, iPad pens suck. Well, I'll be honest. You know, that bamboo, you get used to it. It's spongy. It's not like... No, it is. Okay, anyhow. Right. So the other app is paper. Now, Paul's been working on paper. Mm -hmm. I think paper is a superior app for a number of reasons. Go ahead. You want me to tell you why? I do. I'm well, I think, it's, I think it's actually I mean, superior... I think it's superior to a lot I mean, of these. I'm sure everybody's seen paper by now, but you just. Do we have that? Can we get that on film, on but camera? Th here's the thing about it. It's a drawing app, and there's a million drawing apps for the iPad. Well, there are it's a million. A, it's a good, no, simple drawing No, but there's something special app. about it. It's got, Josh. It's got, look, I was, a drawing was done of me. Can we get yeah, in, zoomed in there? My, there's a bike. For you. Not my bike. Did you draw that? Yeah. It's really good. There's my, my empty ice. Oh, see, it, I used to have a stylus. Neil, I bought me a stylus, but a I drum, lost. It's a drumstick. I lost it. Um, Look at that. Okay. And this is my empty iced coffee. Look at that. Beautiful. But, what an artist you <laughs> beautiful. are. Beautiful. And they're all the tools. I mean, it's definitely simple. It's intuitive. But I don't know, but it's I feel just, like... There's like a ton of drawing apps. I reviewed no, a ton of drawing like, apps like, right when the iPad I feel like you're doing better art on this than you've ever done before. Oh, yeah? Let's see what else you've done. And, well, so there's I was more trying to, to do like a moon this, colony, right? but it didn't really turn yeah, out well, I'm so let's just skip that. Yeah. Uh, you wait, can I buy, to, wait, 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 get the picture of me up. I want to look at this. Wait, wait, I want to look at myself. No, 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 he did. I was very impressed with this. Um, I'm a little tan in You're that You're kind picture. of more, mm. kind of my color. Is that how bad my beard look looks? Though, Is it that bad? That's not the same. It's an insanely bad beard in that drawing. Sad to know that. This is with on. my finger. Uh, I want to get, there's these styluses that are like, almost like a, um, they're like sized like a marker. Yeah. Because, because like they're basically that's the level of accuracy you have is about the accuracy of we a dry need, erase we don't need, well, what's in, what you're, was in, you're using a tiny little pin doesn't make sense. Well, what was interesting hearing uh, we spoke to George, uh, uh, who is one of the George, whose last name he would like n did not want to use on camera, and I don't know how to pronounce, so I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, I think it's like Petschneg or something. Let's see if I can do this. I feel bad. He's a wonderful man, uh, and I should know his last name and be able to pronounce it. But anyhow, George, we did an interview, and he, he, it's funny because. Those guys are basically saying the opposite of what Apple's saying, which is, you know, we have wrists for a reason. We can hold things for a reason. We've been using mm -hmm. pens to write and draw that's for what, I mean, that's so what you are. thousands I just, of years. I just, yeah, I, and I, I, think I just showed true. you the entire UI of tap, of paper. This is Tapose. Like, there's just a lot going on here. Like, yeah, no, there's I, a lot. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. It's, it's very complex. I, I picked up paper in, like, in seconds. I don't know. Anyhow, but we have a we did a great feature on this, and doing. kind of Ellis Hamburger did kind of a quasi review of it, and uh, it's just a cool app. I'm just excited to see some of that courier DNA live on, and I think it is living on in this app. This feels well, a lot to me like some part of what Courier was. And it's funny for this stuff to come out. I mean, not that this is at all related, but like you know, I was so stoked on the the Galaxy Note stuff, mm -hmm. um, and the, the, that they're doing a large. Galaxy Note with pressure sensitivity. I really wanted the new iPad, even though I didn't really think they would. I thought it'd be cool if they did put uh, Apple put uh, pin stuff on the um, on tablets. Go ahead. You good? You good? I'm sorry, Craig was just telling me something. I, I don't know. It's just like weird timing. Two things come out all, all at once. Like I just I think there's um maybe a some momentum here around like groundswell yeah around well, I, like oh no no pins are cool well, no, we I like think, writing I think, thing but i think also when you get and to this drawing. when you get to this when you start to get to this kind of resolution on the ipad um it's it's suddenly you start thinking about it differently you know mm -hmm. the, when the pixels get out of the way <laughs> and just let you create i gotta go i can't be a part of this colors <laughs> become more vibrant <laughs> Video. Uh, do we have? Oh, and Apple showed off the the the. Um... They showed off a painting app. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I just think that I just think that the the hard truth is that people are going. Th there is a reason to want to do this. I mean, I wish that the the pen input were as responsive, and as accurate so, as. I think that people would happily abandon paper, if pen input were as. You as, know what I want to do all the time, actually, is I want to annotate PDFs with a pen. Yeah. And, and, if, and if somebody made an app that you could have PDFs in there and you could draw, underline, whatever, yeah. highlight, and it felt as responsive as an actual pen but or close to it. But, you know, I will say it. this. I have never once used a pen on any platform. 
that is responsive enough. I know. That, it, but they're all slow. Oh, maybe that's because companies like Apple don't want to innovate on it, which I mean, is weird. Well, Samsung's trying to innovate on it, and their pens are just as slow. I mean, there's a lag, and it's perceptible, and it makes me not want to use it. Samsung them. is not known as an as a innovator. <laughs> they're not. Wow. Wow, someone's except gonna, they're doing something that someone's going to firebomb this this podcast. I'm sorry, but what is where? There, there's a difference. There's I mean, two, let's there's look two in the mobile space. They're not innovating on tablets and phones. Well, are you kidding I me? They have note. pressure sensitive pen input. No, no, no. I, that's a that's a step that's in the right a, direction. That's innovation. Maybe they're not polishing, well, but they're innovating. It's a very iterative. You need a company. That's not iterative. Can that's we get different? You know what we need? You need a Microsoft or an Apple. We need a Galaxy Note. We need new vocabulary. We need a quantum leap. We need bigger words. Can we have a Galaxy Note owner call us? Or do we have Tom? We got Tom. Oh, did you just write that in Tom, paper? Tom Warren on the line. Where are we have we getting him on Skype? How are we doing this? Yeah. Okay. Tom we'll do, Warren. Let's talk to Tom. Let's talk about Tom Warren for a second. He's British. He's handsome. He's handsome. He's getting married soon. He's from the United Kingdom. Saturday he's getting married. Saturday he's getting married. And uh, we're very excited to have him on the line. He wants to explain to him that he has uh, the difference between his accent and a posh accent. What is it? His accent is cool. Ooh, yeah, it's it's good. I bet he I bet he used that before he was engaged. We married. I don't get this type of a <laughs> that was a thing pick up line. Where is uh? Are where? we getting are we getting Warren on this thing? Warren. Looks like it's a total fail on the part of our technical team. Can, can you hear me? Hi. Yes. Oh, it's just audio. Yes. Oh, Tom, how are you? How, yeah, not not too bad. I'm putting on my best British accent here. You do it. It, it sounds I'm so. Trying to push it up. It sounds so posh. <laughs> sounds so posh. I feel like the 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 Vergecast just got a lot more sophisticated. It mm -hmm. always does, right? Are you? Uh, what are you doing right now, Tom? What are you doing this moment? I am sitting here watching you guys talk about oh, well, going gaga over iPad apps. That doesn't. Your, yeah, I, he's just I'm a little. Chilling. Can we turn him down just did a little you, bit? Did you buy a new iPad? Yeah, I do actually. I have the new one. Yeah. Everyone's going to uh, use things. Now, am I the only one? You're the only one. Why are you denying yourself the pleasure know. of the new iPad? Why? Let's talk to Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom you tell me about Windows Phone. In your life. Tom, what do you think about the smoke by Windows Phone business? Um, I think personally that it went from something small, you know, something fun, to it got like out of control, I guess. I, I think the expectations went, you know, a bit further than what they could handle already. Um, so people were getting angry that they weren't winning, you know, their thousand dollar laptop. Um, and, you know, we, we got the crazy stuff now where people are like um gonna sue them and stuff you know class action lawsuit. So it's, just, it's just gone from one like small like fun thing to like it's just spiraled out of control do you, th so. do you think that would you say that that people ruin everything yeah <laughs> in general <laughs> yeah humans suck have you been <laughs> have you have you uh have you uh, been smoked by windows phone no, I, I, I covered it at CES, obviously, yeah. with Ben and, and those guys. Um, but I didn't actually do the challenge. So I, I saw a few people doing it and stuff. And, and they did actually hand out devices to people who lost. But, so um, sad, sad people. Yeah. Well, you can trade yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, if your in, device right? was, like, battered, you know. Right. Um, but Tom, you, you have a Focus S, right? Is that what you have? Yeah, I have quite a few. Um, but Focus S is sort of my, my main one, really. You use That's that, the one I like. Is that your daily driver? Uh, yeah. It's a it's it's a mix really. I like the Lumia, but it, it has had a few battery problems. So yeah, um, but, but they seem to have patched those up now. It's a lot better. Didn't so. they release a fix for that today? Yeah, they did. Right. I always thought the Omnia yeah. Seven was the most beautiful of the first gen. Um, I'm surprised that you went with the Focus S. Well, Focus S is a little sleeker. Yeah. Uh, the Focus S is basically the S the S two, but you know, yeah. with Windows on it. Does it does this first off? Does it drive you crazy some of the third party app stuff in Windows Phone? Doesn't it feel like just incredibly janky? You, you know, Tom wrote a huge piece on this today. Yes. No, today? Today. It's been a very busy day for yeah, me. Yeah, about, about the student stuff, but the lack of apps as well, right? So. Well, it's not even lack. I mean, I'll take quality over quantity, but I feel like there's a yeah, real, like, I mean, yeah, like the, a Twitter, the, the, official, of... the official Twitter client hasn't been updated since 2010. <laughs> yeah. Outrage. And I think that's even built by Microsoft, that client. <laughs> well, what? 2010. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't get, get out of the marketplace. It's wild. It's a disgrace. Yeah, and, all right. You all know, right. they need to make Chrome for Windows Phone. Tom, do you know what's going on with that situation? Are they like, what, what's Microsoft up to? Well, so we did a story about it earlier, um, earlier this week. Um, so they're putting, I think, $10 million towards um, sort of getting the top apps onto the platform. Um, 
which I think it, it was from some leak slides from like late last year. So they they kind of like targeted like apps like Bump and and Skype and stuff like that. Um, but there's definitely <laughs> Skype. Skype better, I, I, hope some, I hope they can figure Skype out. I mean, all they did was spend eight billion dollars on the company. How much? Yeah, how much it was? Worrying because they, they've got Skype coming out, and all right, it's in beta at the moment, but. It doesn't have notifications if you've got the the app closed, so it's kind of useless. If you want what to do, receive what do you mean? a call, ow! What oh is my god. going on over there? Oh my god! I just what did... I just jammed my leg into this. I'm sorry. I'm very uncomfortable. Okay, that's more like it. That's better. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, Tom, I'm so sorry. Tom, I'm yeah, so that, happy that you decided. Are you are you are you excited for the uh, for the Lumia 900? What are your thoughts on it? I am, yeah. I mean, I'm going to try and pick because obviously I'm coming to the US next week briefly. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to try and grab one while Tom, I'm over there. Tom, is, but, a lot of people don't know this about Tom, but he's he's what? honeymooning. He's spending his entire honeymoon <laughs> at the Verge office. At the Verge the office, Verge. we've we've created a very romantic, uh, you know, bedroom-like area for him and <laughs> that his, is really and really his weird. new wife. You know, to relax. When the lights go <laughs> out at the Verge. The what? You're gonna have Bulma on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have Bulma? Yes. Bulma. Uh, I, above the bed where the headboard is, Bulma is looking down on you. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna end this wedding before it happens. Approving. I just want you to know. Bulma is looking, gazing down upon you. Take your words carefully. Approvingly. Mm. So just, I think you're gonna experience that. And I there's think, there's rose I, petals. I think you're gonna out experience that, and you're gonna like, yeah. <laughs> oh God, just got weird. Why did you do that? You mean like like you mean like a, <laughs> a, a, like a, 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 a machine a, that blows a machine rose pe petals? Mounted behind the poster, and there's a hole in his mouth, and <laughs> rose petals come just out. Blow out of it. <laughs> Yeah, did that upset I'm, you? I'm canceling my flight right now. Are oh. you doing a Are you doing a Windows themed wedding? That's what we've been told. Yeah. Um, Tell us about your table so all numbers. Our ta all our tables are, are so we got the kids who are on like uh, Windows like 1.0 table, really? and then we got some like the, the the grannies are on like the Windows 95 table, <laughs> and then all the cool people on the Windows 8 table. Could I just we say I, I, that you've I, got I, grannies on Windows 95 at your way? I don't know. No. I don't know if you're being serious or no, not. No, he's being dead. He was telling us earlier. Well, I'm yeah. being deadly serious. Yeah. yeah. What? And it was quite funny because one of the, like one of the people came around. Why are like, we covering this? And <laughs> and he was like he was like you've missed out Vista. Ooh. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> what? You left out Vista? Do you well, have no, that's are there like, people you don't like at your wedding? No, this is like a recipe for divorce. You don't want to do this. Though. Yeah, well, you put like you put the you put the, your frenemies on this. That's like if you're left at the mm. altar, that'll be Vista. That'll be a representation of Vista. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you won't yeah, be like at the skip altar. Skip Vista and Emmy. You skip Oh, you skipped me too. Are there any any yeah. Bob, any Bob stuff there? No, no Bob stuff. Did, no. did you read that thing? I think it was on BuzzFeed where they tried to go to like modern websites like using Windows and me and um, Internet Explorer <laughs> some ancient version it just made me wonder like how many people <laughs> it, hate windows just because they are like on a, a seriously outdated they, tried, oh, lots and they lots. tried to go modern because they're on xp they try to go to modern websites using wait tell me who's, that, who's at the eight. xp table <laughs> is that is that most uh, yeah, most people is it XP? I, I think that's like you know you, you you're middle-aged are you just you doing tables yeah. by ages? That seems a little <laughs> this weird. Is wild. <laughs> yeah. Is that really? No, it's not all by age, but we got like we got a lot of kids coming, so we put so, them on the on the. So uh, explain, the explain, earlier version. Explain to me how the idea for the Windows themed wedding came up, and I have to say, if I <laughs> said to Becky, I would like to have a wedding. It's just windows. the tables. It's just the tables. I mean, it's just the tables. Can you be? Can you Can you elaborate on that? Um, I guess it was just the only thing that I could do that was like, you know, sort of geeky. But so, not so, too, so are there, not, are, not I don't understand, are there, are there, me. are there computers at the table? Are like the tablecloths, like, do they have windows on them? Do they, what, the, the grassy hill? No, no, no. We, have, we haven't gone like in, in It's you know, just the table name. The table name yeah. is, is what is like windows. I gotta name the tables. In my oh, okay. My I thought, I, I was imagining that you had like. The, the cups were it looked like you know you made them look like uh, the recycle bin icon and why would you want to drink out well, of the recycle we, we were bin? gonna have like a computer at every table uh, but it just wouldn't have fit on so yeah mm. we're gonna have an XP uh, uh, we're gonna have an XT at every you have like a little LAN party yeah have a, have a quake yeah, do you have an yeah. Xbox table yeah do you have an Xbox table no you don't yeah. think that's a what viable that, that would be the cool table do you have it? a Zoom table oh my god with no one at it. Can, can you have a Zoom table Zoom. with no one at it? Can I? Can you have we, a Ken table, table for close relatives. 
kin. That's for good. teenagers. That's funny. For ju- <laughs> only teen girls so at the t- kin table. So, so Tom, uh, what is that? Oh, all the, the yeah. Did you do? That's good. Did you? I know Creighton knows everything Creighton, about your wedding. Creighton, what is going on over Creighton there? Creighton says Creighton saying that you did your invitations in MS Paint. Is that true? <laughs> no, that's a lie. <laughs> so Creighton is cool not though. lying. Crow, Cray, you can't trust Creighton. Um, but uh, uh, we so we won't keep you on the phone too long because you have to. I know you have to go do wedding planning. Uh, and this is your last like couple days as a free man. Yeah. Right. I know. Now the, I'm drinking this, beer now. And are just you considering my options? Just think about. <laughs> you're like, are the cars f- totally, you know, gassed up right yeah. now? I could make it to I'm the like, coast. Like, I've done Windows Vista table. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's not too late. Is I it? will pay you money to do a Zoom table with no one at it. Just think about it. Well, he's got to pay for the table. I just said I will pay you money. Oh, well, well, no. I don't think it's worth. Will it, you so. pay don't. the amount of money? Will you just that it tell me that you had a Zoom table? Don't with no one the Is there any? We've but, just well, smashed up Zoom on it. While yeah. we've got Tom on, any other mic- important Microsoft-related stuff we should talk about or ask about? Is there anything that's gone unsaid, unsaid about Windows 8 from us that you feel like needs to be redressed? Yeah. My God. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yes. with, 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 with Windows 8, I mean, the, this is my fear of, of Windows 8. I think it's great. You know, the interface is cool and the apps are probably going to be great. Um, but the only thing that I worry about is the hardware um, because they're obviously doing the ARM tablets and that's going to be their sort of like competitor to the iPad and mm-hmm. you know the, the the decent tablets but we haven't seen any um you know the vendors don't let you touch them whether that's because Microsoft says that or whether they're just not quite there yet um I'm just concerned that the OEMs that they you know they trust so much and that are going to basically push the hardware side of their platform um are just going to let the let, let them down I guess do you um, think that do you think that with Windows 8 there's going to be an end to the to the bloatware problem or do do you foresee that being a continuation of the of the yeah I, I think i think i think it will because they're, they're basically obviously they're, they're almost forcing developers into the metro sort of style um world now so um you can obviously build desktop apps on for x86 machines but right you know that you're not gonna as a developer you're not gonna do that because you won't be able to target arm machines what so if i want a toolbar for my browser yeah, tough. <laughs> Unless you use the IE10 desktop, um, you won't be having any Bing toolbars or Google toolbars or any junk like that. Do you so. think that they will make a version of Chrome? Well, I guess. Just, yeah, I mean, not for ARM. I think, I no think ARM. Google's already said that they are for ARM. Well, no, because for, they're going to let Firefox well, do. Aren't they doing something? Let browsers happen. Yeah, they got a weird Metro? little space for browsers to live. Yeah. Yeah, they've they've kind of got like there's different there's different rules for like Metro browsers as well. Um, so there's there's some guidance there, um, but I think Google, Google and Firefox are, uh, and Mozilla are both doing um, and browsers. And so. they're two they're two different browsers, right? On the actual like IE, there's the IE desktop version and there's IE Metro version, right? They're, they're two separate right, yeah. instances. Like you can run them both at the same yeah. time, different bookmarks, different tabs open. They have no relationship. Yeah, exactly. That reminds. Yeah. Do you know what this reminds me of is 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 how Rim used to have the Wi-Fi browser yeah, yeah, and yeah. the 3G browser. They were separate browsers. And you want one or the other would pop up. Do you, you know what I'm talking about, Tom? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. It kind of, it's kind of reminiscent, isn't it? It's is kind, of, kind of similar. I'm yeah. not trying to put words in your mouth, but wouldn't you say it's the worst thing that's ever happened? <laughs> <laughs> and this this, this uh, separation uh, of browsers, I, I thought that was going to get fixed by this new browser space that they, they're doing, like these new well, rules that they have for stuff like well, Firefox. T- I, I, here's my, the browser stuff is like the small thing, but I think the big question is, you've now used Windows 8 Consumer Preview for a while, I would imagine. How are you feeling about the entire desktop environment? Do you yeah. think it needs to be there? Yeah. Because I, mean, I think we've all seen the Chris Perillo video with his like dad with trying his to dad. use it. He's trying to use it. He's, like, he's like, where's the start menu? Right. I mean, what, what, what's, yeah. what's, what's kind of your take on that situation? Yeah, I think that that is... You know they have to consider um, those sort of you know those sort of cases where where people who aren't you know who, who've used Windows for years uh, it's going to be something totally new for them. Um, 
But I mean, I don't know whether that 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 particular case. Obviously, he was trying to search around, trying to get into it and stuff. I think once you're into it, it probably will make a lot more sense. Um, but I, I do, I, I think the idea of keeping the desktop. I mean, it, it, you know, it's legacy and all that sort of stuff. Um, they they need it. You know, there's a lot of businesses, line of business apps that still need to run on that desktop platform. Um, I mean, and if they killed that off, they'd be killing off a lot of their business. You know, um, I don't understand. Which is kind of and watching that video was Microsoft made a big deal about how when they put the start button in 95, they had a bouncing arrow telling people what it was. Like, press this to yeah. start. It's like, why don't you just put a bouncing arrow in Windows 8? It's like, touch this to start. Well, and it's like, you already I, I know the answer. You, You've done it at once. The, yeah, I think, I think what you'll see is the out-of-box experience with Windows 8 will be like that. You'll have like tutorials and stuff, you know, like pointing to stuff. I, 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 they've they've kind of like hinted that they're going to do that. So yeah. They, I mean, they they'd be really dumb not to do that. So. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, well, I, I, I can't imagine. Well, it'd be like you know you know in Lion where where you go through and it tells you about the scrolling and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't you can't hit they accept unless you scroll correctly. When yeah. when is this? Exactly. Yeah. In when you're setting up Lion. When it comes, it like welcomes you to Lion. Can I, I just say, still not online, not going anytime uh, soon. I don't recall that at all. Yeah. Well, because you. I, I just reinstalled Lion. I just had. Did it you? Happen. You probably just backed up your machine when you got your when your air, right? You probably. I up. Just, well, you no. transferred no, from I, old I, machine. No, it was a brand new machine. Wait, if you, you got a brand migrate? new machine, then you had Lion. It didn't have. Yeah, I had Lion. Yeah. Right. So you didn't have to. Go I don't remember that. a tutorial. Hmm. Anyhow, anyhow, they just. To, to, they just talk you through a few of the options and the scroll stuff. It's well, nothing too I'm, I'm sure there'll be some setup, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of confused old people. Tom, we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, hang up on you now. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye, but you, Tom. You, sure. I, it's too bad you're not gonna be here on a day when we're doing the Verge cast. Tom, the next person, time I see you, you'll yeah, be physically. Are you, have, you? Are you? The next time I see you, you'll be married. Are you? He's are you taking her name. Yeah, are you taking her name? No, no, no. She's taking my name. Really? Becky's well, not then. taking my name. Becky is not taking she Patel. Is, no. Becky Patel. I like she the sounds of that. She's, she's not having it. <laughs> nice. Although she's offered for me to take her name. Well, look. And I've uh, thought about it. We'll, we'll see you on Monday, and uh, and we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a real nice time together here in the, <laughs> Ver so here at the Verge office. Uh, and uh, we're looking. I'm looking cool. forward to meeting your uh, lovely and delightful better half. I, I mean, I hope yep. she's lovely I'll, and delightful. I'll see you Monday. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Tom. Right, we're really glad you guys join us. Okay, so a bunch of news just broke. That what? We talk about what it. happened? Uh, Rim just had its first earnings call oh, under boy. Thorsten. Did we cover it? We did. It's all over our site right now. Okay, good. Uh, so that's they, a that's a relief. They lost a bunch of money. They lost Rim twenty five million dollars. They lost how much? One hundred and twenty five million dollars. Not that oh, much. Deal. Not that bad. It's they didn't make in, any in money. Canadian dollars. <laughs> yeah, with that's like three, ten worth, bucks. Worth three times as much as our dollars. Yeah. Uh, Jim oh, Balsley what? has resigned from the board. What? Uh, he's no longer on the board of directors. Oh, and what? Thorstein is apparently firing all kinds of executives on the side. Cleaning house. Cleaning house. Dude's got the, uh, got the axe. On the good news side of things, uh, they claim that there are over one million Playbook customers out there. I don't know what that sounds means. like an enormous lie. Um, That's not a lot of anyways. One million? I, I have you know, one million, you know, I don't know, guys named Josh Topolsky. It's not even... And they are now hinting that they could license fair. BlackBerry 10, which is the... Oh, ill-fated operating system. That he said that they wouldn't do that. Thorstein, man, changing the rules. Look, he's firing people left and right, man. His he's... name is, I think his name is pronounced Torsten. Thorsten? Torsten. Torsten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like when Paul could Torsten. Oh, yeah. Name. Sorry, we had a typo and I got it wrong. We had a typo? Yeah, it's gone now. It's fixed. Oh, thank God. Anyway. Sorry. Got to get that spell check thing happening again. Torsten, I apologize. That's fine. We all make mistakes. I was there. calling you, uh, I still call you Inlay sometimes. Well, why would... <laughs> Why would someone want to license BlackBerry 10 right now? Because if it's competitive, it's, look, look. I guess BlackBerry hey. 10, not like their current operating system. Look, look. Right. This is what this is the Super this apps. is the basis of this operating system is what uh, uh, our electrical grid runs on. It's what nuclear power plants run on. Okay, yeah. powerful stuff. Hmm. Yeah, at least that's in they fact, keep... they already licensed the core of it to nuclear power plants, that's right. power grids, and no, auto manufacturers. Kinex, Kinex is yeah. that's their... Kinex. I'd love to see somebody take that and like strip off all the BlackBerry stuff and then do something cool with it. Native, um, native Linux. La native. Q Q so Q in Q4, RIM shipped 11.1 .1 million phones, down 21% from last quarter. Wow. Uh, That's shocking. They will not will not provide estimates on how many phones they're going to make or how some, much they're going to make in the coming quarters. Yeah. 
Um, but Torsten is very excited about the prospects for BlackBerry 10. There was an article today written by somebody. I and, think he, wait, and he's looking at he's looking to uh, increase management accountability. There was an article today. Implying think, that, by the way, management accountability was very low previously. Yeah. Well, they were busy. There was an article today, on, I believe it was on Seeking Alpha. It was an editorial. I don't know if you read it. It was somebody was like, it just was, RIM doesn't get a fair shake by the media. Yeah. And um, they pointed out some things that I just thought, who, it was like, I can't remember exactly what they pointed out now because it's been a long day. Again. And you weren't giving them a fair shake. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. giving them a fair I was like, to hell with this as I read it. Yeah. Uh, but it was just interesting to read the take on the idea that, that, the we somehow in the media we have a perception that rim is is like doing worse than they are yeah you know they're oh they it was like they're cash rich they've got a strong portfolio mm -hmm. it's like what this is we've seen <laughs> this we've seen this we've seen well, this movie before and there's there's two kinds of i mean there's two kinds of media if you want to be a like a like uh, we're not a, a media that's like reviewing people's books we're reviewing well, the we products do, they're we've putting done books out reviews. No, not, not like that. They're they're uh, we're not oh, accountants. Oh, they're account they're <laughs> we're not, accounting. We're not like the Wall Street Journal. Like we're saying. not saying buy or sell. Very slow on the stocks. Today. We're yeah. saying uh, I don't like what this product. I don't like where their products are trending. Do you think Balsley Rage quit? <laughs> like, did he flip a table? Was yeah. he like, I, this will not he, stand? That's not him. That's Lazaridis. Oh, I don't know. I think he was more like, I'm going to go by a I mean, team. They, they should not have put those guys on the board. I'm, Which I'm, is like, real, by the way. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, he's not on the board. Well, he shouldn't have been. Well, but what, what can you do about it? Yeah, like like they're in control. They, well, they shouldn't they be in control. That's yeah. I mean, that's well, the whole thing. Maybe maybe that's what's going like, on. Like like anyway, Rim didn't need just like that, a like a, a reorg uh, for our sake. They really needed a real reorg. Well, no, so to on top of that, that's, that's uh, quote true. multiple vice presidents and senior vice presidents are now roaming the Canadian wilderness. Yeah, getting in planes and getting really drunk. Because <laughs> you're <laughs> they're biting through plastic restraints <laughs> to get out and party more. Uh, you know, I will say this. I mean, in, earlier throughout the week, there's been a lot of analyst chatter about RIM and just how badly they're doing. Right. Um, and on I think the, that's, where the, that, that's where that's seeking alpha. On the eve of their earnings. On the eve of their earnings. Can you find the article? Uh, I don't, I can't Go to seeking alpha and just use the internet. Anyway, but I will say this. Just from a product perspective, I still know a lot of people who have Blackberries because uh, I, I know a lot of suits. Look, I see, I see hardcore businessmen on the train. With no, their... and they're all, but they, it's all, Mark, our chief content officer at Vox Media has a Blackberry Jamming on it. and an iPhone. Yep. And he says, when I want to send an email that's multiple pages long, I use my Blackberry. But that's, and that's, that's what that's I use a, it I'm, for. That, I'm but seeing that's, that's a, a lot of people, if they have a Blackberry, that means they also have another it definitely smartphone. Means. No, 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 that's, I know that's, so many people with an iPhone and a Blackberry. No, and what they really like about it is that they have, there's complete separation between work and their life. Well, that's great, mm -hmm. and that's, that's what they always. That's talk great about. if your if your work and your life can be completely separated. Now that doesn't work for most people, but um, what I will say, and also having two phones and two phone plans doesn't work for most people. But what I will say is, um, but, wait, no, let me, no, th they have a work phone plan and they have a personal phone plan. And work pays for and their work phone. pays for one of them. Okay, plans. sure, yeah. all right, fine, good point. I'm going to have Vox pay for my BlackBerry. Um, <laughs> that would be but, but. But I do. So I see. Mean. I see guys with those with with the BlackBerry. Oh, by the way, this this thing that that you can type emails faster. They have a commercial. It's like a girl smoked my BlackBerry phone. Yeah, it's 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 like <laughs> some girls like she's like a PR person. She's like I can't. I get a thousand emails a day. Try responding to a thousand emails on a virtual keyboard. It's like guess what? Yeah. Guess what? Everybody is doing that, and no one's having problems. Well, like, there's an ad running on the think, verge like, right now. You think you're busier? You think you're? I tools. need tools, not toys. Yeah, no, yeah. Tools. Big I, no, that's fine. I get that, but like the argument is false. The argument that you can't be productive without a real keyboard is not. This is, thing is not the argument. No, that's not it. It's Wait, time to see. believe in RIM and the BlackBerry again. Wait, let me see. Scroll down. It's from today. Is this before the earnings? No, this is old. Is yeah. this from today? Yeah. March, this is from TechCrunch. March 29, 2012. It's a TechCrunch article. Okay. I'm just looking at Seeking Alpha, man. I don't know how they aggregate their stuff. I'd love to believe in RIM again. Yeah. If they produce a product that's, like, really astounding, I'm all, I'm all for it. I mean, I actually am rooting for these guys. Like, I think they're a true, like, they're truly an amazing company. Well, they've had amazing success. Like, I think that, you know, in many ways, they remind me of Palm. You know, they're, like, early innovators in this space. They are 
they had genius ideas about how to approach some of these yeah. things. Mm. They may they have made and continue to make rather beautiful hardware, in my opinion. I mean, you I have seen you cycle back to try to use a bulb like a thousand. <laughs> times. I want I want to believe, uh, but you want to believe because of that keyboard. I do love the keyboard, but what I did what I what I found recently, I went to a bold for the express purpose of just seeing. Would I be more productive? Would I be able to yeah. respond faster? Mm. Would I would I be more focused using a BlackBerry? And the answer is the answer is no. I'm more productive on an Android phone. What, yeah. What's frustrating? Unfortunately, with I think Palm is a good um, comparison just because I remember when uh, because I did have a Palm OS device and I remember when the Pre came out, and even though it was a brand new operating system, it was just a feel that like. Oh, all these kind of old ideas that Palm had that were very efficient, especially when it came to contacts and calendaring, that they were very good at these little things and the little tiny little ideas that they had kind of carried into the pre and, right. and WebOS and, and made WebOS yeah. a joy to use, even when other parts were frustrating. Yeah. Those were That's and, true. and I think Blackberry has some things like that, like when you um you know, calendaring again. You know, universal search. Their search is excellent. There's things people like about the messaging that, that have stuck with them. Oh. And it just it's frustrating <laughs> is that when you when a company like this goes under, it's like those ideas disappear. Right. And the the the. Sorry, we're, we've got some so breaking news. What is happening? You're, like, you're totally <laughs> interrupting the situation. Sorry, sorry. Paul. By the way, can we can we? Queue up some calls because I want to take a call from a diehard BlackBerry user who still uses it, and I would like the Galaxy Note owner if we can get one. That would make. Can you, I'm sorry. Can you go to what? Google selling tablets directly to consumers this year, says Wall Street Journal. That's what I'm. Looking oh at. yeah. Well, okay. So this well, is interesting. We, this. we actually ran a story uh, a week ago or a week and a half ago that we've been hearing from sources that Google is going to be doing a. Hundred ninety nine dollar. Wall Street Journal reports that Google will sell its own, will open up its own online store, will market and sell tablet devices directly to consumers. Well, that that sounds like they're going to be selling like Galaxy tabs. The company won't actually manufacture any of the hardware itself, instead leaving that duty to partners. Samsung and ASUS are both named. This sounds like the Nexus program, only they don't have to deal with the carriers. Right. And I'll tell you what great. they should do. They should sell phones that way too. Well, they carriers, man. Carriers, man. Yeah. Carriers. Well, once we're all on LT, it won't matter. Just kidding. It's a beautiful dream. Um, yeah. But, Paul, sorry, you should finish your point, then we can get back to this this Google thing. But you are saying that, that those technologies and those innovations die. Like Palm, for yeah. instance, had a lot of great uh, uh, ways of quickly navigating their their uh, interface. They had, like, shortcuts that were, like, even in, in Palm OS that they carried over to Web OS. And that stuff is all in the ether now. Well, and, HP and, owns it. And what yeah. hurts is when, you know, if, if RIM was, like, all of a sudden, like, super... Uh, the, the, when your when your platform is dominating, those ideas start to like seep over to the other other platforms, competing platforms. Right. But when like you're not winning, people are dismissive and they don't look at your platform. And I think if RIM suddenly had a huge resurgence, you know, or especially if, like an enterprise was like pushing Apple back out of its market, you know, um, in the enterprise. Uh, Oh, I can't. Because <laughs> Creighton's so, taking his talking. What was that? Um, wow. But uh, what was that noise? I don't Creighton, know. What did you just let him down super easy? That was like a ten-minute conversation. About Do we have a? Uh, be on the call. Have a Galaxy Note on the phone. Right. Now, well, I want to. I want to. I want to rim. I want a rim guy. Fine. We'll talk to the Galaxy Note owner. Yeah. What is this about? I just want to know how they use a stylus. I'm curious. We're going back to this. Okay, well, you're a Galaxy. I, yeah, you're, yeah, all right, yeah, Derek. Derek Neil, Tom, Neil sure choice. We've got a caller on the line. You're a Galaxy Note owner. You. I'm You're going to talk about it. What is your name? Tell us about your life, your experience, your relationship with the Galaxy Note. Okay. My name is Evan Rogers, and uh, I now am the Virtuous you Inquisitor. Live. You are the Virtuous Inquisitor. Yeah, I like it. Are you the, are you the, uh, you're, not the, I, you're not the creator of Virtuous Inquisitor, are you? No, 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 no. Is that a thing? Do we make that up, or is that real? No, that one's real. Virtuous Inquisitor 4, Quattro. Yeah. All right. Go on, Evan Rogers. Well, I picked up. I don't use the Galaxy Note as my daily driver, but I picked one up because it's really an awesome product. Um, and uh, the only re the only reason that I don't use it as a daily driver is because it's uh, gingerbread still. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but, but you, uh, when you get when you get ICS on there, you're not going to know the difference because Samsung is going to endeavor to make it look as as heinous as they do with all of their other uh, pieces of software. Do you like touch? <laughs> I know. I think it's. No, God! I are you are you another big you another <laughs> big, big Papa, Papa Joe? Big Papa Joe? Do ladies not? love the Wiz? Yeah, I mean, if you found uh, him, he, he can have 
He can have my touch whiz. Have I don't you, want it. Wow. Ooh. Whoa. Uh, have you ever had a woman walk up to you because of the phone or the device you were using to comment on have it? Have they ever said it's not uh, a stylus? Actually, actually, um, yes. Not not from the OS, but from a lot, lots of women like the, the Note. They really do. Yeah? Because of the stylus? the stylus? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, actually, it's totally, it's totally the stylus. See, I, I don't think the stylus is crazy. I mean, I think it's... I think that when you when you have a situation where you have to the thing about old stylus devices that you had to use the stylus to do things like Windows Windows Mobile the it what didn't work well with finger input there was a period I don't know if anybody remembers this when it was like fingers didn't work on it yeah mm -hmm. it was resistive touch it, was it wasn't meant you didn't have to use your finger it, it wasn't now. meant for touching they 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 like shipped them with styluses and that was the whole way you were supposed to interact with it remember they at 6.5 they were like we're making the icons bigger so you can yeah. touch them mm -hmm. right so like the thing about did the you guy... guys ever own uh a... go ahead sorry no go ahead did you guys ever own a uh, sony nx70 or an nx80 god I, god I wanted one of those so no bad. i never had one why was that was a like my dream device what was that is that that wasn't it was the... a clear yeah, oh yeah, yeah it was the clear yeah, yeah. Okay, those, I had one of those. It's one of my favorite devices, but one of the ways they got around it was they used the jog wheel, like, yeah, a, yeah. a ton. Yeah. Um, that was when Sony put jog wheels on everything. The, yeah, I mean, and, and, and like, the, sure, that's fine, but the, f the point about the Galaxy Note is that, that's interesting is that this is the first, you know, I think one of the first, if not the first device that is fully functional with touch, right? Like, you can use this with your fingers, you, no problem, and then... Well, if, Wait, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. No, and then, and then, if you want to use a stylus, you have that option as well. And, and it's, it's pressure sensitive. Well, yeah. I really the the what Neil and said, Neil and Paul were saying about the ground swell of a stylus based input. I mean, people. I, I'm a student, um, so I mean, people use pens. We use pens all the time. Everybody uses pens all the time. Pens are hot. <laughs> and, and pens are in. Heard it here first. You're, the you're, Verge on, cast. you're on the Verge cast. Pens are the next big thing. Anyhow, go on. I mean, it's a nat it is a natural input. And, you know, the, the iPad was so sensational because it really nailed finger, like natural finger input. But that doesn't mean that it's, you know, that it can eclipse uh, a pen input. I mean, it's just better for things like annotating Um uh, a PDF. That's I true. mean, it's just horrible to do that on an iPad. That's exactly what Neil said. All right, li All listen, want. listen. We appreciate you calling in. It's interesting to hear the other the other perspective. And I, by the way, I agree. My gripe. I mean, if they, if the Galaxy Note were running stock ICS with a bunch of like special apps for doing, mm -hmm. you know, annotation or writing or whatever or drawing, I would definitely really consider that as my main device. Mm. But but it's hard Such to ways. it's hard to take it's, a it's gingerbread to, device seriously. It's hard to consider seriously. Uh, thanks to Evan for calling in. And do we have another caller? Do we have a we have no calls? No. What do we want? What do we want? We're a BlackBerry user. That's what, what we wanted. We want to talk to. I want to talk to you. We if you're call Stern. If you're a BlackBerry user, seriously, Joanna just emailed me as I said that and said I want to call it. Joanna Stern may call in to talk about her experience as you know, a they, they issued her as a BlackBerry user when she went to ABC. They gave her. They made her have take a BlackBerry. Are you a BlackBerry? So are you a BlackBerry user? That's so funny. She seriously. Do we have a BlackBerry user out there that you Creighton. like? Come here. Let's you, give her the number. She can call on like, her bold. You like BlackBerry. You like the OS. You like the device. You're not going to switch. So you, that, that would mean you, we have you, a you're number. using it by choice. We have a number. You're using it by choice. You love it. 888-418-4074. Call us now. We're live on the air. I'm I, getting, I seriously just emailed you. I'm getting really good at this. Yeah. Well, whoever calls, we can. Yeah. If Joanna calls, Stern we'll take her calls, call. It's cool. Well, you'll know it's Joanna. I just told her that we'll, to give us her number, and we'll. You'll know it's Joanna because she'll be sound just like Joanna Stern, <laughs> and she'll or, be angry. Or it'll be something. somebody doing a fake Joanna Stern voice. I don't think that's that easy to do. You can't just fake a Joanna Stern voice. Mm. That'd be like, can you can you fake the wind? Can you fake a sunset? <laughs> can you can you invent a rainbow? Mm -hmm. Can you? magically produce a superman by the way no one is calling us <laughs> no, no blackberry users Crate is hanging up on everybody great is literally cannot find a single dedicated blackberry fan where's big papa joe when you need him Hello? joanna claims she's been trying joanna, to call us joanna joanna's been trying to call us but she can't get through joanna joanna the lines are free right now call in
The lines are free. <laughs> I can just call her on my phone. I love. I could do this all night. Yeah. You guys mind? <laughs> we're just gonna hang out and take random calls whenever something pops into our head about what we want to talk about. All right, yeah. Creighton. Creighton. Here, all call right. her on Skype. Here's the number. If we don't get a hold of Joanna like in the next five minutes, we're gonna start talking yeah. about wh who your favorite like Hunger Games yeah. character is. <laughs> Katniss. Okay. Peta. Peta. Or Gail. Primrose. The little <laughs> one. I don't know how I feel about this one. love triangle, I'll be honest with you. It's a little, yeah. a little annoying, actually. I feel like Katniss doesn't really understand her emotions. Yeah. She has trouble Cr like Cr working out what she's feeling. She just wants to kill. No one's listening. No, she doesn't want to kill. But she that's has to kill. I only think she knows how. But she seems to, to enjoy it. Take that number. She seems to take some call kind of Stern. pleasure in killing. Hope I didn't just That's do it. Can you just call her on anybody. Skype from our? I don't think she line? takes pleasure in killing. No, I don't think so either. I think she just she just doesn't know how to express herself other other than killing. I'm sure this will be edited out of the actual uh, yeah. Verge cast when I it hope goes so. up. <laughs> but uh, you know, I don't know. It's definitely a YA novel. There's no question. Mm -hmm. Paul and I were griping about it earlier today. Yeah. There's yeah. some yeah. major. We had some good ideas. Have you read it? Oh yeah. Oh okay. And, it, and it's written kind of like. They won't notice these glaring I, mistakes. I think, I think it's written like a video game. Well, what, yeah. It is a we video were, game We were device. talking about is, is... Well, that's not... It could be spoilers. It's not a spoiler. Don't... No, this won't be a spoiler. Okay. Is... is the end where you everyone said, dies. You said there's some, <laughs> some glaring mistakes. Yeah. Uh, if we created an annotated version with, with the extensive footnotes there's... so that every... Like random thing that happens Paul in the book I, is yeah. completely logically. No, no, no. Explained. Paul and yeah. I discussed this. We actually came up with a name for it. He said, "What's the opposite of cliff notes?" And we came up with two possible names: uh, cave, cave tomes, uh -huh. which is I don't know, valley, valley tomes. Right. Yeah. Valley cave tomes. tomes. It would just be a really super like detailed, a long version perfectly too. logical. Yeah. Anything? We have we, we have, have Joanna on the line. Let's get her on here. Joanna Stern, you're on the line. Head of technology. You love, what do you think about Hunger Games? Games? Director of technology, head of IT at ABC <laughs> News. Oh, if she was head of IT, she never would have gotten a BlackBerry. You, you left BlackBerry for Android. You threatened to go to iPhone. And now you are back. Are you, Creighton's just are you just, are you just jamming with Joanna? Are you going to put her on the phone or what? We're talking. Well, you know what? <laughs> We got a live. <laughs> just hanging out. We have a live Crazy show to run. Smiling, here. he's like oh, moving all right. his hands. Okay. He's like, oh, I missed you too. All right, yeah. anyhow, uh, Joanna. Okay, <laughs> Joanna, uh, let's get her on the line. Hold on, I don't know why I'm yelling. Joanna, you, you, you left BlackBerry to go to Android. You threatened to go from Android to iPhone. Now you're back to BlackBerry. Tell us your thoughts. I need to speak to this person. Who? What person? What person? How are you? How are you? Where How do I sound on my BlackBerry? You say, are you on a BlackBerry yeah, right she's now? On gold. I'm on my gold right now. Sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. I'm not gonna, is it on AT and T or Verizon? Oh, they don't have it's a Verizon on, one, do they? It's on this new carrier called Sprint. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, Sprint! Whoa. Shut up! Wow, man, the yeah, mouse. It's, it's Sprint. No, come on, don't make jokes. Are you serious? No, it's really on Sprint. What bold? It's not the new bold. Yeah, it's the new bold with the touch screen. I didn't, what is it? The, I didn't uh, know they had a Sprint version. Yeah, what is it? Bold 9900. Yeah, no, the, yeah, the 9900. So what do you think? Um, I actually really do carry around two phones always now. Like, they were able, they said they could hook my email up to my uh, Android phone, but or my Galaxy Nexus. Oh, you guys actually know names of Android phones there. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do. That is true. Um, that makes me feel very sad to hear you say that. Donald Duck didn't know about your uh, So, so, but what happened? So, but you had to take the BlackBerry. What happened? Did we just lose Joanna? She <laughs> dropped the call. She dropped the call? Sprint? I'm sorry. Sprint. What happened, sorry, you know, AOL used to issue Sprint BlackBerry. That's right. Yeah. I had one. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> on a business trip. Is yeah. she gone? Did we lose Joanna? Maybe she's talking to Creighton again. Yeah. Wow. She made that joke about Stop. people not knowing Android phones. And somebody <laughs> went over and knocked the phone <laughs> yeah. out. Of, they just like, hit the phone out of her hand. She's live on ABC News right now. Yeah. Reporting. Do you, you know. do you think she went out to Diane Sawyer and was like, do you know what phone this is? <laughs> She's like, Diane Sawyer, I need this, uh, my Galaxy Nexus <laughs> to work. And she was like, oh, is that an Android? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> is that a droid? Is that a droid? <laughs> well, we lost Joanna. I think I'm, we got to wrap up here. It's the second time we've lost I'm afraid Joanna. we have to wrap up because I'm very tired. Oh, she's oh back. Joanna's back. Put her through. What did she do? What happened? I don't know. Stern. Joanna, what happened? Did you, just... you see Hunger Games? Did, have you seen Hunger Games yet? 
down. Listen, what happened there? Why did we lose you? Um, it's, it's, uh, it must be Sprint. Oof, that's incredible. So, so you're saying uh, that they could give you, they could put your email on your Galaxy Nexus, but, mm-hmm. but, but you, have a, you have the BlackBerry anyhow. How did that happen? Um, because I really can write emails really fast. And can I tell you something else I've been doing, which is, I'll, I'll admit it, I take notes now at, at meetings on my BlackBerry. Whoa. You're really? that person? I you feel what? terrible doing that. You can't, type, you can't type on your Galaxy Nexus. No, I really can't. I mean, I can, but I get I, tons of typos, and I can't type as fast. But you were always like a paper and notebook. Yeah, I, mean, I can definitely meetings. type faster on my Galaxy Nexus than I can on a BlackBerry. I can type faster on my iPhone than really? I can write with my hand. No question, Joanna. Really? No question. Even with the typos, I have more typos on a BlackBerry. And I suppose if I spent more time on it, I might get a little bit faster. But I actually feel that the the the, the pressure you have to exert to to get the travel on the keys has a very negative uh, overall effect on the speed of typing. So if you're using your bold for, I, for... I mean, I can also type without... The other thing is I can't type on a virtual keyboard or on a software keyboard without looking at it. That's true. So what do you use your Nexus for? All the cool um, stuff. Temple Run. Yeah, cool stuff. Cool <laughs> stuff. I'm also really, really going to buy an iPhone very soon. So you're, wow. getting rid of, you're getting rid of the Galaxy Nexus. I had a long talk with Chris Ziegler yesterday on Gchat about why I'm getting an iPhone. Why don't you hold out and wait to see what the N900 is Why don't like? you have these chats with us on the Vergecast? Yeah, you should come so on what, and just talk. What, what, what are the reasons? Yeah. What are the reasons why, why are you jumping ship? Um, peer pressure, I'll bet. For, Diane Sawyer's pressure. like, yeah. she's like, hey, have you gotten this new app? <laughs> and you're like, oh, I have an Android phone. She's like, oh, you have a droid? And then that's that. Is that what happened? Um, I have heard a number of people over the last couple of weeks say, oh, you have an Android? Um, which is, is, I always kind of laugh. Um, oh, but yeah. apps, apps is pretty much the number one reason. Apps. You love apps? Yeah. yeah. I love apps. You love, to, you love to check out the new apps that are out there, the hot new apps. No, I know it's going. You feel left out because you don't have Instagram, right? I feel all the time I consider switching back because of my lack of Instagram. Hmm. Instagram is definitely one of them. I feel like, like, what did I cover today? I covered Bump, and their new app isn't available for Android yet. They said it's coming, but it's not available yet. It's a nightmare beyond description, I would have to say, uh, the app yeah. situation. I mean, it yeah. is, it is uh, the, the depth of... Uh, and, I mean, they're just... They're ugly, I and mean, I don't know why the ads always look really bad. Yeah. Uh, you know, draw something on my Android phone looks just, just not You good. sound really disappointed. You're over oh, it. Man, I really thought the Galaxy Nexus, Nexus was going to be the one for you. It looks um, like... I mean, I do like it. There's some things I really do like about it. I, don't know. I, think, I, really I, I think you'll miss it when you're gone. I, I, I know. Do. I mean, I do. I do. Yeah. and that's the thing. I really like to be able to customize. I like the home screens. I like all of that. I mean, I lo- look, I love the iPhone. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a beautiful device. Great camera. I mean, there are times I wish I had one with me. I mean, Man. I'm probably going to end up carrying three phones around. Gmail, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah. Gmail. And See, that's just scary. Oh, that's, three the, other, phones? So that's no, the other major thing for me. I don't, um, my work email now is on exchange. Cause, <sighs> wah, wah. You know. <laughs> Because you're actually wearing a business suit today as well. Are you, oh my are you God! Seriously? What is going what on? What happened to you, Stern? <laughs> what? No, this is fine. This is the Joanna that. She, this is who she wants to be. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's. I'm not gonna harsh her mellow. She's got a BlackBerry. She's wearing a business suit. Yeah, it's cool. Support her. She's working uptown. She's switching to an iPhone. It's fine. Yeah. You know, she's go. Yeah, she's an uptown girl. Uptown girl. <laughs> you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> she's an uptown girl. Anyhow, on that are note. Are you gonna sing the song? I no, but Paul might. Paul. Do it, Paul. It's here. It's all. It's you know the, how much I love your singing. Paul. Your time. Your time has come. I forget what the second I'll line is. I'll meet you at karaoke after you can. She's sing an me. uptown girl. Uh, Creighton Creighton is just she's been living up. in her white bread world. Okay, we gotta world. stop it. Is that it? Yeah. Now I sang it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> That's anyway, great. I, I Thanks for tricking me into it. I think Creighton, it's Creighton smart of Blackberry like, to go back to their roots. What do you mean go back to their roots? Keyboards to, everywhere. To keyboards. They're not. They're not going to be focusing on enterprise they're not going back which, to their roots they're making a touchscreen phone well okay i <laughs> what was i was just reading something that they're they're gonna spend more of their focus on enterprise did you read it on the verge was it on the verge because it's not true no it wasn't actually well then it probably wasn't true yeah probably wasn't a, <laughs> it probably wasn't a fact no i don't know maybe that's true i haven't read all the blackberry news can i been podcasting. can i say this i yes. continue to believe that within two years windows maybe phone. one year windows phone 
Windows Phone. I don't think so. I don't think. I think that Nokia. I, I w- unless Nokia's performance takes a big upturn. Yeah. I don't think when. So you uh, think they're just waiting to see what happens? I think that in, if if Nokia in in a year from now, if they if it's proven successful and Windows Phone and Nokia, if they've been uh, 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 lifted up by yeah. this relationship, then I think RIM will probably seriously consider such a thing. But I think until that happens, until there's proof that that partnership can work, and there is no proof right now. And there's right demand now, for Windows Phone. And there's demand for Windows Phone. I don't think you're going to jump into it. I mean, they'd be smarter to do an Android device with BlackBerry stuff. Can I tell you on that vein that I think the keyboard in Windows Phone is the best software keyboard? It is very good. It is. No, I it is very good. Like, I can type. I have been, I have, like, way less typos on the, the Windows Phone keyboard than on Android or iPhone. The Windows Phone keyboard is very good and has Symbian. a lot. It has a lot more in Symbian. common. Well, I don't know why you're using Symbian. But it has a lot more in common with the iPhone keyboard than the Android keyboard. You know? And I think that yeah. it's, it's, actually, it's actually very good. Uh, but... You know, I still we still haven't seen it be a viable third option in the market. Yeah, right now it's all it's all Android and, and Apple. I do think that if, if if Rim were to take Android and to rim it up and Ooh. to add BBM like security and all and that add stuff. security features and have yeah, make, I would it, buy that. make it totally compatible and do a device like the Bold, you know, but a faster bet with a better screen, that would be an extremely yeah. What would they be getting out of Android then? I would buy that. Uh, they'd be getting sure. the world of Android applications. But they're compatible. doing it. They're doing it on BlackBerry 10, right? Yeah, but App it's player. not. Yeah, but it has to go through their store. Right. That wouldn't work, you know. I'm just, but that's the argument they're making. I'm not saying I. Well, I they think can make they can make play. that argument, but but the fact is, like, if they were to take Android and do what like Samsung is doing, yeah. but just add like actually good stuff that you want and use like you know instead of add doing TouchWiz widgets, they would do BBM. Yeah. I think they'll be very attractive with a keyboard, with the keyboard like Joanna's talking about, like really nice hardware made by RIM. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why that's not a differentiator. If, if, if hardware is a differentiator for Nokia and Windows Phone, then it's definitely a differentiator for BlackBerry, for, uh, sorry, for uh, RIM. For RIM with Android. No, you got an Android there? Is that an Android? Yeah, I got an Android. <laughs> I, got a, I, got a, I got a BlackBerry and an Android. Uh, but no, I think that, but, right, Joanna, like you would, you would go for that, would you not? Yes. Oh, I would definitely buy that. But I, I mean, I'm talking about buying an iPhone and having three phones, so I don't know. I mean, you're a sick person. You well, no, you're, she's making she's making. <laughs> I don't, don't you want to be a sick person? But don't you want I, I don't know why. Well, don't you want to just wait till October now? Because you know there's going to be a new iPhone. Yeah. And I it's know, only, it's only like though. what is it? What are we in? Where it's April, May, June, July, August, September, October. It's only seven months. Yeah. I mean, even then, it's probably not going to be as good as the MacBook Air. <laughs> for a hundred dollars more you can always get the macbook air that's beautiful all right on for that $1, note dollars more for a thousand yeah. dollars more you get the macbook air joanna on that note i want to thank you for calling in and sharing your tales with us uh i'm gonna keep trying to call in every week and, sure. Creighton, and hear creighton's voice or whoever's voice saying oh we've had a we, we've received a high volume of calls oh is that and what it you is you guys are saying we actually have no calls what is, what are you talking? I think the about? lines. No, we, is that our busy message? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you later, Joanne. I know what's going on. We have a lot of calls. We're lying. We're lying. We just think we were not oh. getting. Our our lines actually get jammed because so many people call, but they all call and they breathe at Creighton and they hang up. Well, <laughs> Creighton's, a, Creighton's a real soldier. Yeah, he's a real trooper. All right, Joanna, thank you for calling in, and we hope to see you soon. I'm sure we'll we're see you. We're not gonna let her. We're not gonna let her try to hijack the end of the show. Oh yeah, you should stick As around for tradition. the end of the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyhow, we're gonna wrap up. Okay. That's okay, yeah. but stay here. Don't go anywhere. Rock and roll. No, no. <laughs> keep her, keep her, keep her on. Too the, early. Keep her on the the phone. Okay. Good. All right, Joanna. Don't go anywhere. Uh, so that's our show for the week. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to get in touch with us, you can uh, email us at podcast at theverge.com. You can leave a comment on the post when it goes up, or you can find us on Twitter. I'm Joshua Topolsky. Neil is reckless. Paul is future Paul. Joanna is Joanna Stern, and uh, of course, uh, oh, Tom. Oh, Tom is, what is this? Tom Warren, right? Tom Warren. Tom Warren, one word. Two R's, one M. Uh, and, uh, and, of course, The Verge is at Verge on Twitter. Uh, and uh, we're also, what is, our, what is our Facebook page? This is The Verge? This is The Verge. Is it? Yep, and that's our Tumblr, too. This is The Verge, and Tumblr is, this is The Verge. Our Tumblr is about to hit uh, 10,000. Our Tumblr is about to, go, go check out our Tumblr. Go subscribe to it, uh, follow it, rather. Oh, subscribe to our YouTube stuff. And subscribe we're to our YouTube. We're all U- over Oh, yeah, and, and right hold now. on a second. Hold your horses. We have a YouTube channel that is jumping off. 
Let me yeah. tell you something. Do not make the mistake of not subscribing to our YouTube channel because we're going to have some very special stuff on there very soon. And if you're not subscribed to it, I will come to your house and kill you like the animal that you are. Wow. That's my Going that's back my, to an old favorite. That's, wow. prom- <laughs> that's my promise. So do yourself like a favor. Bring out the hits. Do dude. your family a favor who will be left to fend for themselves <laughs> and just subscribe to our <laughs> YouTube channel, okay? And, uh, and on that note, we're going to wrap up. Uh, uh, thank you for listening. I wish you and yours the very best for the, for the weekend ahead. And uh, Try to hung up on us. Don't try to stay here. here. Hey, that was your moment. Rock I wish roll. you the best. You. Oh, he beat you. He got it. I didn't hear you. Oh, really? Maybe you weren't listening hard enough. Paul. Maybe it's that Blackberry. Yeah. Paul. Rock and roll. Paul. <laughs> Paul, thanks for listening. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. You're the best. Rock and roll.